And now, another episode of Crit Camp Gaming. Oh my. It's 1920s, Europa. And the snow is still dark from the first Great War ending. Welcome to Scythe, as we're going to take the factory that was building these mechs. Ah! And we're going to conquer the land in this strategy game from Stonemaier Games and made digital by Asmodee Digital, who's owning the world and taking every factory and turning every game digital. What's going on, guys? It's good to see everybody today. As you may see, I am solo mode mittens today. Uh, Lyle is off to the great white north of Alaska, where he's going to find giant salmon and fight bears bare barehanded um, as he's into bear wrestling now. That's, that's his new thing. He uh, got into board games for a while. He was a graphic designer for a while. He liked to build furniture, and now he wrestles bears. So he's going up there to train to wrestle bears, because where else would you wrestle bears besides there in, I guess, North Canada or something? Um, but what's going on, guys? What's going on? Hello to Sean. What's going on, buddy? Hope everything's good. He says, I know nothing about Scythe except for the hype. Same here, man. This will be my first time jumping into Scythe. It's episode number one, so it's going to be like a learn and play thing. And because we're playing the digital edition, that means it's got a tutorial. Um, I've read little about it. I haven't even watched a full playthrough video of it. Um, I saw some Asmodee digital, or and as people are saying in chat, is this early access as Dr. Hannah? Yes, this is still in early access, which means it's going to have some bugs. Um, things are going to change. They're going to be slicking it up. Um, I've watched Asmodee stream it a bit um, as it's been in development, and I think it's changed even since then. Um, Jonesy says, it's I've uh, played Scythe in real life a, f a few times. Uh, but it's been a while. Uh, that's right. A lot of people are super hyped on some of the expansions coming out because it's also Gen Con week, guys. Some of you are even at Gen Con probably or sitting in your hotel room as I don't know if the first official day is tomorrow. I think it is. Um, I think first official Gen Con day is tomorrow. Uh, and uh, people are getting hyped, man. I'm seeing lots of booths being built, seeing lots of cool game hype. Um, and what, what is it? Rise of Fenris, I believe is the expansion they're releasing here at Gen Con. Yeah. The Rise of Fenris. So you can check that out. Um, if you guys are Scythe fans, um, I know folks like Indecision and the like in our discord have been talking about Scythe, um, and posting pictures of them playing it as of, as of late in IRL. And it's super hype, super hype. Uh, looked like I was about to dab. Yeah, no, I'm just running away from the giant mechs, dude, mechs. I mean, this is an amazing game. If you guys don't know about Scythe, Scythe is, uh, from Stonemaier Games. Um, you can go buy it right now in physical form, which I highly recommend. Uh, people are super hype about this game. Designed by Jamie Stegmeier and this amazing art. Speaking of these mechs, Jacob Rosalski has, has created this beautiful world uh, that this game is set in. So even if you're not into big strategy, I think it's considered even a 4X game, um, you got to get it. Because look at this art. This is amazing. And I'm hoping to look at a lot more of it in the digital implementation um, here shortly. Um, yes, uh, I think early access is only single player right now, says Dr. Hannah. I don't know if they've added online play yet. Well, today, um, I am only going to be playing through the tutorial primarily and then playing some one player modes, depending on how fast that tutorial goes. Um, from what I know about Scythe and what people have told me about it, um, is that it's, oh, welcome to the camp, Rat Pans. Good to have you, the best camp on Twitch. Um, but I've been told it's actually a great entry level one. Um, I'm hoping that it's, uh, easy to understand kind of like Imperial was, uh, that we did recently with level 99 and that, um, Kickstarter went off. Uh, that's going to have amazing art as well, but yeah, the art is great, says Jonesy. Yeah, I mean, just look at this. It's going to be awesome. Um, oh, and Tiger Planet, sorry to hear you're sick. You get to watch Crit Camp. You get to watch Solo Mode Mittens. I hope it's okay. <laughs> it's pretty easy to learn. Okay, cool. It's good to know. That's, that's what I'm hoping for. And, uh, I've literally done nothing with this game like i like i said i've watched maybe 15 minutes when it came out two years ago i think officially the the physical game came out two years ago i watched some stuff because the hype was real everyone loves this game um rodney over at watch it played did a big playthrough of it and i, I love watching his video i think i watched like 15 minutes like half of it um and he moves fast through it so I kind of know there's cards i know there's mechs i understand there's i think in the base game and maybe in the digital version there's four races or classes you can choose or whatever they are the individual things um and i know you can't cross water that's about all i know about this game <laughs> i'm gonna be overwhelmed yeah let's see um but i'm here to learn so it's that's the good thing about the camp and i have you guys here that have played scythe which will be very helpful for clarifying things for me um we don't do a lot of 4x games here we don't do a lot of big strategy games like i mentioned imperial was the last one we did um, we had Brad here to help us. Oh, Dr. Hannah, thank you for 14 months in a row. Guys, get some crit cheers in chat. Dude, 14 months? Thank you, man. That's awesome. 
Um, we don't do a lot of four... 4x games here or big strategy games because a lot of times there's hidden information oh one other thing i know about scythe is that you have hidden objectives for instance um it's kind of hard for us to do that we can do rum and bones and the like as long as we build for the specific game we never say we can't do anything um but we just haven't been exposed to these big deep you know strategy type games um but we love to try them out uh and the digital editions will make this possible so um i remember chris's face during imperial i know man like <laughs> we play a lot of miniatures games. We've been getting into deck builders. We've been learning. We want to learn more about the uh, the, the hobby um, and go deeper because we know you guys appreciate it and uh, you guys want to see some of that content. So um, when we're at cons, if we were at Gen Con this year, sadly we can't be there, um, we would be happy to sit down with you guys and try these things out and have you expose us to cool things like Scythe. Um, now they're also coming out soon with a published version of, I guess, which was a print and play called My First Scythe, I think is what it's called. Um, which is pretty sick. So maybe I should start there. I'll definitely try to pick that up. It looks cool. Um, but I, what I think is cool about that backstory is that someone took the, the Scythe game, liked the way it worked, and then made a print and play version on Board Game Geek. People loved it so much that I believe Stone Myers publishing it was like, hey, we're going to publish that and put out the art. So that's freaking awesome. Um, Dr. Hannah says, if you're at BGG in November, I'll bring it with me. I wish we were going to be at BGG, man. We'll be at PAX Unplugged in November again this year. Um, we had a blast last year, and it's here in Philly. So if you're going to be at PAX Unplugged, we'll be there. Or if anyone else is going to be there, come join us. But one of these years, we'll make it to BGG. That'd be awesome. That would be a lot of fun. Um, speaking of cons, like we said, Gen Con's going on. There's a lot of big announcements before we jump into some Scythe. Um, if there's any cool games you guys are really excited about, please chat about them in chat. Um, I'm going to be focusing on learning this game a bit, but... Really, other people in chat want to talk about stuff, and I'll talk about it too. If uh, if if anything's going on there, there's so much going to be happening this week. It's insane. It's insane. I wish I was there, but I have to say, one of the big announcements that's coming today, um, as tomorrow's the big release, one of our good buddies, Chris, um, over at Ismati Games and Handelabra, are releasing today. Forest of Shadows is coming out today and tomorrow. Solo Mode Mittens will be jumping back into One Deck Dungeon Digital um, for the Forest of Shadows expansion. Yes! That's officially coming out. Um, so if you guys have been jumping on One Deck Dungeon Digital, uh, we did some release stuff for them here for it. It was a lot of fun. Uh, they're kind of releasing this in conjunction with Gen Con, the big Forest of Shadows expansion, which everyone's been hyped for, on top of all the other expansions of this game. Um, is coming out today, I believe at noon. I sent a message over to Ismati Chris and said, uh, should I hype this? Is it coming out? Because it's not in the game yet. At noon today, so in one hour, I believe Steam will have this ready. I believe it was approved and everything like that. And if all goes well, I'll be playing it tomorrow here on stream. So come hang out with us um, as I try to die some more in one deck Dungeon Digital. I think I've gotten one one win. And now we're going to bring Forest of Shadows back. So it's going to make it even more difficult and more fun. Um, but in that vein, I think it's time we get into some Scythe Digital Edition, guys. What do you guys say? Um, any questions? about this game please ask uh i don't know too much about it myself but people in chat can definitely help out um and answer your questions uh and and i'll try to be maybe a middleman if you don't catch chat but i'll do my best to kind of uh um for the youtubers out there and stuff like that that may i'll show chat on screen but i'll do my best to kind of uh pass along the information because we're all here to learn together and have a good time but i have to say this music for the digital edition is already sick and totally sets the mood of 1920s Europa. And as you can tell, I am ready to take the land and I'm going to get the resources and I'm going to build an engine and we're going to make it strong and powerful so that I can crush you. And once this game's officially released, hopefully we can play it as a community game online, right? <laughs> so let's get into this thing. Rock and roll. It's gameplay time, guys. Scythe Digital Edition right here. Currently in early access, as you can see in the top right corner, it says early access build. Where's my mouth? Right there. Early access build 0 0.5.6. It's been out for a while. It's been They've been going at it. You can get this right now on Steam. Um, let me know if this uh, needs to be turned up volume-wise. Um, you can get this right now on Steam if you want to jump into early edition. Now, what they always say about early access is uh, you're buying it for 20 bucks. You'll get the game when it's done, I believe. Some games say you're, you don't get the game. They don't guarantee you'll get the game. Um, but... Uh, this, I believe you will, uh, for 20 bucks, and you just have to kind of deal with the the bugs and stuff as it's adjusting and being slicked up and becoming awesome. Um, let's get into it, huh? What do you say? Stop stop talking. Stop talking, guy with the, the stupid hat on, right? Stupid hat. Stupid hat. But let's, oh, wait, wait, wait. We didn't spin the wheel for, for Dr. Hannah's 14 months. Let's spin that wheel first. What do you guys say? I have to do this two-handed here. I don't have my buddy Lyle. I don't have my co-host. So I'll do my best to try to be quick about it. There we go. Yes. We'll spin before we jump into Scythe for you, Dr. Hannah. 
14 months. Let's go. Let's go. I don't know how long it. Oh, of course I get beans. And I, I'll do view. I'll, I'll be doing the beans for Lyle today, guys. As you know, if you hit exclamation point rewards in chat, you can see that we've, we've changed up the reward system. You can now direct buy beans for 250 or 250 bits. We've made it simpler. Spins only happen for subs and resubs. Um, but I'll be taking the bean punishments today while learning scythe. So let's make it even more difficult for Chris to take on a giant strategy game that he's not good at. All right. <laughs> but one bean, man. <laughs> one bean. Let's grab a bean for you. Let's take it out of the, the thing here. Oh! Right there, a little toothpaste or, or uh, what is it, berry blue. Let's see what it is. Mmm, brushing my teeth early in the morning. Thank you so much, Dr. Hannah. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks for that bean. All right. Ooh, Dayu, what's going on? It says best game ever. Well, here I'm hoping, man. Help me get through it, dude. Let's start with some Scythe Digital Edition. And cheers to everyone. Thanks for the support, guys. It's time to start the tutorial right here. And as you can see, I have a little check mark. I opened this up to just make sure the game was running and just to get a look. I really didn't pay attention to anything, so I haven't accomplished this yet. Let's learn about the game progression system and core mechanic. Let me know if you can't hear this, guys. Oh, this artwork. There's Lyle right now. This is Lyle up in Alaska. Oh, I got hit start. Oh, you played it with Westgro. Nice, man. So no sound here. Player Polan Polania. Okay. Let's move faster. I'm against the Russians. Oh, I guess I shouldn't have my Russian hat on then, huh? Okay. So the idea of the game... I don't know if the sound is... Uh, I'm going to turn it up a bit. I just don't think there's there's no sound right now in this tutorial. But your goal is to earn stars through various achievements. The game ends when any of the players reach six stars. Okay. Get six stars. Done. Easiest game ever played. Stars can be earned by accomplishing any of the following. Don't worry if you're not familiar with terms. Oh, good. Complete six upgrades... Deploy all four mechs, build four structures, enlist four recruits, have all eight workers on the board. Okay, reveal one completed objective card. Oh, complete an objective. Win combat up to two times. Have 18 popularity. Ah, oh, a little pink heart, nice. Have 16 power. You can preview the list by clicking the star. Let's see it. Boop. Sick. Right here. Nice. Look at that. Art. All the little details. Cool. Six stars. You're in one for accomplishing all those things. Um, note, achieving all stars doesn't automatically grant victory. Okay, I guess we'll learn that. You can check these details anytime during the game. This is your player mat. It contains all the major actions you can perform during the game. Down here. You might notice the player mat is divided into four sections. Ah, one, two, three, four. Yeah, ten. Top row to bottom row. During your turns, allowed to perform up to two actions from the player mat section of your choice. The actions are executed in top-down order. Each action is optional. You're always free to skip it. Interesting. You need to select a different mat section each turn. Wow. That actually kind of reminds me of Imperial. Um, the way Imperial Spells of Steam works is you build your train, um, your little things on your thing to get your actions, and you can always take the top to bottom action. That's kind of interesting. Um, like I said, I'll probably be surprised by a lot of things comparing them to things like Imperial because, once again, I'm new to this game. Virgin playthrough, guys. Um, and I don't play a lot of big 4X a builder so and like i said if there's anything that i i read or or don't understand please feel free to say in chat and uh clarify it because any help is appreciated um okay top down you need to select a different mat section each turn gotcha let's select the coin gain action coin gain boom earned a coin coin gain now, five coins. Let's skip the bottom action for now and end the turn. Okay, so I guess, yeah, top to bottom, and I guess I'm skipping this bottom section. Gotcha. Bolster power. Oh, I guess that's what he did. Note that the section with previously taken action is now disabled. You need to wait one turn for it to recharge. Gotcha. Look again at the star conditions. This symbol indicates power. Right here. You are very close to reaching the target 16 to achieve one star. Ah, so we're starting ahead of the game here. We're starting with 14 power to get a star. Gotcha. Color code actions. Red means to pay. Green means to gain. So let's pay one coin to gain two power via the bolster action. So this is bolster. 
Okay. Boom. Congratulations, you achieved your first star. Woo! Just achieved my first star, guys. And that's it. I guess that's it. Um, next mission. We beat the game, guys. Beat the game. Beat the game. Look at this art, man. This is so cool. Polania. I like Polania. I'm gonna, we have to decide on our faction. I know Indecision was in our Discord saying, I wonder what faction he's going to take. So far, I like bears, dude. Who doesn't like bears? And the minis in this look amazing. So I'm the bear guys again. Still in this tutorial. <laughs> Next level right there. Exactly. Um, okay. This is a very quiet tutorial. It's very... We got to stay focused here. Oh, there's music. It's just very low. Turn it up. We got to get in the... We got to get in the mood. A territory is a hex on the board labeled with one of the following terrain types. Farm, forest, mountain. Okay. Tundra is a barrel. Okay. That's interesting, right? I guess you get oil from Tundra. Village has people in it. Lake. Looks like there's a lake there. Factory. Okay. Farm, forest, mountain, tundra. Okay. Gotcha. For the purpose of the move action for any unit, all territories with the tunnel icon, this red icon, are considered to be adjacent to each other. Ah, so you can you can port. You can port. Cool. You control a territory if you have at least one unit there. Am I white? I guess I'm white. A character worker or mech. Or if you have a structure there with no enemy characters, workers, or mechs. Only one player at a time can control a territory. Okay. You have a home base that serves as a starting point and a place to retreat after losing combat. A home base is not a territory, so by default you cannot move units or build structures here. Each faction has its own permanent base location and different skills. I'm the Bear Bros. Polania. Resources. Wood, food, metal, oil. Remain on the map once produced. You may only spend resources from territories you currently control. Food. This is mountain. Or metal. Okay. There is no limit to the number of stored resources. Each of these three unit types in the game, characters, mechs, character mech workers, share two key similarities. They can move around the board, though not over rivers or onto lakes, by default. They can transport any number of resource tokens. Transport resources, engage in combat, gain a factory card, have encounters. That's who I am. The bear lady. Okay. Transport resources, engage in combat, transport workers. Cannot transport me, I guess. Uh, transport resources, produce resources, deploy mechs, and build structures. Gotcha. These are my, like, my minion dudes, dude. It ain't easy being green. It's not easy being green. Let's execute this plan. Pack all workers on a mech and take them to a farm. Secure the unattended metal with your character. Okay, so there's metal here. Gotcha. Select the move action. Two green tiles means that we can move two units. In our case, mech with loaded workers and move the character. Select a unit to move to the mech. So I guess you have to move on to the mech then, if, even if you're in the same space. Note how the rivers can... So moving into the mech... Oh, wait, no. Select the move, the move. Oh, I guess they're with the mech, so you can move them. So they're technically in the mech. I guess you don't have to get in the mech. Rivers constrain my range. You need a special skill to cross them. Okay, we need to get to this. So we need to get here. Gotcha. Did I select it? Mech. Got it. Use the transport area to load all your workers in onto the mech. Transport. No, you can click each worker icon individually or use the fast forward button to load them all at once. Oh. How do you select them all? Select the unit to move the mech. What? Okay, so. Oh, is that these four dudes? Is that what it's showing me at the top there? Ah, uh, I see. So I do select the mech and then hit this button. Ah, it's the little one, not the big one. Got it. There we go. Crit nose, guys. Chris figured out how to get the, the, the meeples into the mech. Why do I want to go to the farm? Choose destination. Why don't I... Oh, I can't go there because of... Uh, 
I thought I'm trying to get here, no? So, okay, I'm just gonna go to the farm. We're doing the tutorial. Worker transporter in a, is an ability specific to mech. Time for the character to seize the metal pile. Ah, oh, I'm not gonna seize it with my mech. All right. And because I'm on this little thing, I can go here. Pack my food. Oh, I can carry food. How do I do that? Oh, down here. Give me all my food. Select the hex of the metal. Okay, I gotta remember to take stuff, guys. I guess you can leave stuff places. So I have two food. Now let's go. Bee -wee 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 -wee. Nice. Well done. Two or more metal pieces. Two more metal pieces and you could build a mech. Ah, but that's another story. Ah, we did it, guys. Woo! Objective achieved. All right, Chris figured out how to move. I'm going to have to remember what can carry what. So this guy can carry big stuff. She can carry... It sounds like everyone can carry resources. I never... And I can always leave resources. So whenever resources are there, I need, I need to do that. All right, guys, next mission. Mission accomplished, guys. We did it. We're nuts. We're nuts. Best Polonia player in A right now. There's the factory. <laughs> player Polonia. Player Matt. Tutorial. We're against the Nordic. The Nords. Very quiet. Combat occurs at the end of the move action when players metal or players character mechs enter territory controlled by opponents. Character mechs. Both sides. Dedicate up to seven power from their pool. May augment the power with combat cards. Ah. As many as they have combat units participating in the battle. Okay, so I would have two, he has one, or whatever in this case. Gotcha. Player of the highest total wins the combat. Ties go to the attacking player. Both players pay the selected power and combat cards. <laughs> he died. Uh, get wrecked. Winner. Gains or maintains the control over the territory and any resources. And get a star, unless they already earned two combat stars. Okay, cool. Destroyed. Uh, loser. Retreats all units to the base. If used, any power or combat cards gets... Oh, you get a combat card if you lose. So what happens if you use them in your combat as the winner? I guess you just maintain your combat cards. I guess you just keep your combat cards if, if uh... If you engage the combat, if you, if you attack or whatever, and win. The Nords are approaching our base. Fortunately, we have two Polonia units nearby. Where? Oh, here. Um, this is Nolds. Fortunately, we have two Polonia units nearby. Boop, boop. Or these guys. Doo -doo. Let's expand the stats to see if we can chase the Nords off. Nords have 10 power. We can see total. But only up to 7 power may be used in combat. Word. They have no combat cards. Ah, zero. So their total firepower remains at seven. Okay. Polonia has no power, but four combat cards. Two times two and two times... What are those? Two and three? Okay. You're allowed to use one combat card per unit. If both your power... If both your mech and your character attack with three, you'll have a total of six firepower. Oh, so you could use two three cards. That's less than Nordic seven, but we can still improve. Okay. The, I can take a bolster action to buy two power for one coin. Let's do that. Bolster. That's two power gained, and you're good to go. I guess I'll know what number combat cards I have, huh? Oh, they're down here. I never noticed this. Okay, down in the bottom right, you can see you have two two powers and two three powers. That's two power gained. You're good to go. Let's end this turn by ambush and get, get the ambush ready. Okay, in turn. Let's fight. I guess he traded. I don't know about trading yet, huh? So this is bolster. This is move. What's this considered? This is bolster. Oh, I did this. Uh, what's this? He did this action, I guess. Trade? What does that gain you when you trade? I saw him pop up like a thing. I guess we'll learn. I'm getting ahead of myself. All right, let's move. Select the mech. Select the target. Boom. The fight wouldn't be fair without the second unit. Right. Select the battlefield to resolve combat. Battle time! 
Here we go, guys. Ready for fight? Select two power to dedicate. How do I do that? Oh, we've got we've got dramatic music going. I don't need my uh, war song. Here we go. Um. Oh, down here the slider. Where was my power at before? This is kind of confusing me. Okay, maybe because it's a tutorial, I guess. Think combat cards both threes. Because I have two people, I get to put two, two combat cards. I have eight. Fight! He's only got... He only played one power. So he gave up, and I won, guys! Woo! Okay, a Nordic mech was chased off to its base, but be careful. Now that you've spent power and combat cards on a battle, you're an easier target for others. Now I'm weak. You can earn up to two stars for victorious battles. Nice. Nuts. Yeah, I was trying to see where... I mean, I mean, total power's up here, I guess. I was just wondering on that slider where I would see, like, oh, okay. Because I saw he had... We knew he had seven, or he had ten power, right? Up here. So he only used one, knowing he would lose, I guess. Well, he could have fought us... Oh, you can only use max of seven, right? That's what we learned. If a loser takes at least one power or combat card, they'll gain one combat card as they retreat. So he played one just so he could get a card. Cut his losses, that's right. So he can be staying stronger, I guess. You're right. Finally, workers... I don't know how long I can keep this hat on, man. This thing's hot. Finally, workers are not fighters. Music's really going, huh? Battle music. They can either attack nor use combat cards. You lose, so they can't attack. You lose one populator for each worker forced to retreat by your attack. Ooh. Please be good to the workers. Got it. Good to the workers, guys. Can't fight. Lots of bluffing in this combat system. Okay. Oh, look at this guy. Look at that buffalo, dude. That's sick. Oh, look at this dude. Okay. Nordic. All right, on to the next mission, guys. We're learning here. Oh, I get to play as the Nordic. Ah, welcome to the Great White North. Okay, the factory is the centerpiece of the scythe board. It is a place of technological innovation and untapped power. Ooh, music. When your character enters the factory for the first time and your move action is complete, look through the factory cards and take one. Okay, so move to the factory, get a factory card. Let's find out what those do. Let's check it out. Let's move. So the Nordic board's different, as you guys can see down here. Different actions for the Nordic board. This used to be over here. Now it's over here. Uh, so the character. Let's go to the factory. Whoop. Move another unit or just in the move action. Guys, look, we're next level, right? Even though we're in the tutorial... Let's move another unit. Where would we move another unit with the little knowledge we have of this game? Well, we can't cross the water here, and this is our base. I guess it would depend on what we want to create, right? At the end of the game, the factory is worth a total of three territories to player who controls it. Ah, so we try to control the territory. Can I move both these dudes? I can't select both guys, right? Hold space? No. Okay, let's get some metal. Oh, Dr. Hannah with a hundred bits. Next level, please. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that hundred bits, man. We're getting that. We're getting gnarly. Oh, look, we're learning new things. Pick your loot. Wait, what? Oh, this is a factory card. The, the tutorial is covering it, but... You will want those factory cards as early as possible. It gives you extra actions, options. That's what this is, I guess. Choose a factory. Pick your loot. Any of the cards. I guess this is... Spend a... F spend a power? Ah, this little tooltip isn't popping correctly um i guess this is spend a power and gain two popularity i believe is what that means and then you can move one unit up to two times within the same move action oh cool so you get to move twice this one is spend to get three bucks dude we want the money guys except <laughs> like car is now part of your player mat oh sick you get new actions you can use the uh, you can use this action just like any other. The choice you made is permanent. Ooh, okay, so we can get more money. That's sick. That makes me stronger. You can only get that from the factory, though, right? Let's take the new action for a spin. Yes, spin some power and get rich. 
Oh, we just got coins, guys. The change has worked and the stars are updated. Uh, I have no stars. Wasn't there a star? Oh, I can't check it right now. Wasn't there a star for getting like a certain amount of money? Now this is something new, it says. Yes, it is. Select the character. There's one more place I'd like to show you. I'm going to select my character. Whoa, the factory move actually allows you to travel one hex further. It seems there's something special about one of the villages highlighted in a different color. <gasps> hmm. Curious? Uh, I guess I can go two spots. Why can't I go there? Yep. Oh, I have to go one hex first? What? Oh. As your character treks across Eastern Europe, Europa, they will encounter a number of local people and situations. Encounter locations are marked with this symbol. Okay. Oh, encounters are fun. Let's see what's going on there. Move! Everybody move! <laughs> oh, click the card to reveal. Sick. Look at this artwork. This is, the, this is the good stuff. Okay, click to reveal, guys. Let's see what we're going to get here. Let's see what we're going to get. Boom! <laughs> it's telling me it selects it. it, it <laughs> I suggest the peaceful option. Enjoy an afternoon festival with the Compners. Gain $2 and one popularity. Enter a battle of wits and lose on purpose. Pay two dollars to gain two power and two popularity. So I get money, pay money, get more popular and powerful. Or drink too much and raid the storehouse. Pay three popularity to gain any five resources. How much popularity do we have? We have no popularity. Does that mean I can't do this? Is that why it's red? Yeah, I, I can't. I can't drink too much, guys. Sorry, it's too early in the morning. Can't drink too much. Enter a battle of wits? Of course! I'm a witty guy. Popularity is important and hard to come by. Yeah, wasn't it like a certain amount of popularity earns you a star? How much We have money, though. We took the money. Guys, if we were next level playing right now, we're not going to go baby mode and go peaceful option. We're going to go enter a battle of wits and pay two bucks. We just got three bucks. Of course we're going to do this, because that's why we chose that power, because combo wombos. I'm getting famous! Congrats. Keep on walking in the way of righteousness. Guys, we're nuts. We're nuts. I won my battle of wits. Hey, we beat it too. Yes! Objective achieved. On to the next mission, guys. That was cool. The thing, I don't, the thing about tutorials, though, I feel super powerful when I'm just like, when it's totally setting me up to be in like the perfect situation, right? I assume it's not easy to get to the factory first. So... Having started at the factory first makes me feel like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> this is going to be real bad when I start the game. I'm going to be like, where's my, where's my, where's my pay a power, get three coins and move twice per turn. Okay, Nordic. We're Nordic again. He who will not economize will later have to agonize. Confucius say. All right. Good to know. Confucius also say, man stuck in pantry. Have ass and jam. Every bottom row action requires resources, oil, metal, wood, or food. Ah, bottom row actions. They can be produced by your workers placed on their, based on their placement. Mountain gets you metal, farms get you food, tundra gets you oil, forest gets you wood, village gets you workers. Lake and factories do their own things, I guess. I guess lakes don't do anything. Factories. Factories get you factory cards. Okay. Let's take a look at produce action. Produce action. The cost is related, related to the number of workers. The more workers you have on the map, the higher the cost to produce. And the higher... Whoa, really? Wait, let's take a look at the pr produce action. Ah, oh, right here. So the cost is related to the number of workers. The more workers you have out on the map, which we have like, looks like six. Is anywhere to tell us how many workers we have out at a time? No. The higher the cost to produce. And the higher your possible production output. Okay. So I guess these will change based on... Right now the action will allow you to produce... Just produce on two territories. Okay. At once. So you pay a power and a popularity. We'll see. Let's get it. Let's select it and get to work. Okay. Let's do it. So 
So it's going to cost me a heart, some power, and I guess at least two dudes. The number of resources that can be produced on each field corresponds to the number of workers working on it. Press near the two metal icons. So this will make us two metal because we have two dudes there. I get you. Okay. Your two workers just produced two units of metal, but there's still one more production left. Let's not waste it. Sure. Cut three pieces of wood because we have three workers there or extract one barrel of oil. Uh, let's make oil because we want max. Excellent choice. The bottom row action is still out of reach though. Oh, whoops. I should have made wood, huh? Because then I could have done this, whatever this is, build. I just lost the tutorial, guys. That's it for this turn. Now we've lost. I just lost the tutorial. The other way of getting resources is the trade action. This is especially useful if you want something that you can't produce. Let's buy some food. Ah, that's what that other dude did. So pay a coin and I can trade twice. Am I guessing that right? You can perform a trade on any hex with your worker except the base. Press food icon on any of the territories. Pick the second resource to gain. I want food. I want wood. So I paid one coin to gain two resources. Okay, the coin was deducted and resources placed on the selected territory. Bam, boom. You might ask, why didn't I buy two metal to deploy a mech now? I do ask that. Confucius say. The same thing he said earlier. Yeah, that's right. I could have down here then, if I had two metal, I could have made a mech. Was that just me being bad mode? Did the game just make fun of me because I'm bad? I don't know, this tutorial's mean, dude. You guys are mean. Saxony. Oh, look at this dire wolves, dude. There's ghosts. All right, dude, Saxony. So basically, yeah. There we go. You fork, what's going on? Easy or medium AI? I don't know. I haven't even gotten to the play yet. I'm only still learning. I'm learning. It's, I'm now trying the Saxony, and I'm learning the mechanics. So I think we're about halfway through the tutorial here. Upgrading. Upgrading improves the efficiency of the infrastructure in your growing empire. The resource used to upgrade is oil. What? Okay. So you need oil to upgrade. Ah, so we went upgrades fast. <laughs> no, the game tells you not to gung-ho it right off. Ah. They made the... Oh, see, you fork. I haven't. So you fork is saying they made the tutorial way better. Um, I've never played it. I, I am seriously, this is the first time playing Scythe in any fashion and playing this digital edition at all. So I'm learning. Unlock an additional green for any top action with this. Okay. Decrease the cost of any bottom action with a different, with a blue symbol. Enjoy using improved actions. Okay, so you need oil to upgrade things. And this one... Oh, so you're going to see the upgrade thing next to it in each of its rows. Okay, cool. Let's select the upgrade op option. Let's upgrade. Hit the highlighted hex three times to pay three oil. Done, done, done. Let's improve the move action. Oh, you can change anything on the top row. Ah. No. Let's improve the move action. Currently, you have two units per turn. You can move two units. After the imp improvement, the number will increase to three. Okay, let's do it. Boop. Uh. Did we do it? Next to play action. Currently, a mech costs three units of metal. Wait, what? I did it upgrade it? Currently, a mech costs three units of metal. After optimizing, it will be two. Wait, did I do that wrong? Dude, I am lost. I'm actually kind of confused by this tutorial right now. So I, I went to upgrade this. Then it put a line down to this. Next deploy action after optimizing, it would be two. Note that it could be reduced further. Now you've gained an extra mobility. Okay, I got it. I don't know why it's, why is it telling me about that? Now, in the middle of learning how to upgrade an upper row cost. Now you've gained extra mobility plus made your mechs cheaper.
I didn't understand that. Anybody understand? You get an upgrade. You can you can get you get you get to upgrade lo upper and lower in the same turn. So I upgraded two things. So I made a, a mech cheaper. Okay. So I can upgrade two things in a turn. Interesting. Now you've gained extra mobility. Yeah, the upper and lower bar are separate. Yeah. But I guess you get two upgrades and stuff. What up, Katori? How's it going? I get to upgrade two things. Okay, okay. Great. No. Now you've gained extra mobility plus made your mechs cheaper. In total, you can perform up to six upgrades, which you will earn in a victory star. Cool. Upgrading can be powerful early game tactic, plus you can now afford a mech. Yes! But we'll get to that next time. Boo! Okay, guys, we can make mechs now. Upgrading is important. Yeah, it sounds like it. Sounds like something I'm going to do at the beginning is upgrade my stuff, get powerful, and then start taking stuff on. Saxony. Okay, we're still the Saxons. Okay, deploy. You can deploy mechs. Yes, let's build mechs, guys. You can, deploy, you can deploy mechs to protect your workers and expand your empire. The resource used to deploy mechs is metal. Each... Each mech unlocks a new ability for all your mechs in character. Mechs can be deployed on a territory with your worker, but not the lakes. Mechs can transport workers, resources, participate in combat. Got it. Mechs are awesome. Let's select the deploy action. Got it. Hit the highlighted territories to pay three metal. Oh, I'm black now. That's right. Oh, I guess I have to choose where I have the metal sitting, huh? With each mech comes a new ability. Mechs. This arm has been already unlocked. Okay. Let's pick river walk next. This will let us move to the continent. Move across rivers to forest or mountains. Ooh, cool. Finally place the mech. Why do I have to place it there? Can I place it here? Do you have to place your mech next to your base or something? This is digital version, yes. Um... It is not on iOS, I believe. Just Steam Early Access. Yeah, as Euphoric said. Wants to break stuff. <laughs> yeah, it, this is the digital version. Still in Early Access, yeah. Okay, so I guess you have to place it next to your base. And it's ready. We're going to take it for a spin next turn. All right! Select the move action to test the new river walk ability. No problem. Move. Let's see what the new machine can do. In. It can cross the river towards the forest and mountains. Okay, so we got river all through here. Please also note the transport section, which allows you to pick any workers and resources. Okay, so I'm going to take all my... As our, okay, let's exercise the Riverwalk skill and move across the river. Okay, so I want to put my dudes... How do I add my guys in? It won't let me do it. Okay, I guess it just doesn't want me to do it this turn. So I can move across to forests and mountains. The new is also granted each of your other mechs. Sick. And I want to take my meeples. Please don't move it just yet. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why it wouldn't let me put it next to it. It's a tutorial, though. It's a tutorial. Please don't move it just yet, because your character also got the upgrade. Sweet. Because you... Okay, this tutorial is interesting. Please don't move it just yet, because your workers... Workers don't get any bonuses from mechs, but you can still use mechs to transport them. Finish the move action to wrap up the lesson. So... So my character gets the same upgrades as the mechs. That's pretty sick. Let's go over there. Each faction has different mech abilities. Make sure to check them when planning your grand strategy. All right, guys, we beat it. Yes. Objective achieved. Looks like the tutorial still needs work. I'm also kind of bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I kind of w would like it to be more just like flowing versus a little bit. It's a little broken up for me to understand. I mean, I'm getting it. Enemy Crimea. Okay, we get to try Crimea out against the Saxons, who we just were. All right, let's do this. I guess we're going to a little bit learn building. Yes. You can build structures to enhance your actions, territories, and get in-game bonuses. That's the build action. Allows me to build. Build goes where my dudes are. Got it. The resource used to build structures is wood. Pick any structure type linked with a top action. Okay. Build a structure on a hex with your worker. Right. But not the lake. Note that there may only be one structure on each territory. The structure bonus activates whenever you take an assigned top action. Okay. 
I took the liberty of placing two structures already. Hey, thanks, man. The mine and the armory. The mine, which I guess is this thing here, acts as a tunnel that only you can use. Select the move action to give it a try. Oh, sick. All right. So it's my little own personal thing there. It's like the character. Notice how many tunnel connected territories you can go to. Ooh, anything with the tunnel, just like the other tunnels. Seems that Crimea left some supplies behind. Oh, let's claim them. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Nice. Let's leave the workers where they are. We'll need them later. They're right here. In the move action. Ah, oh, so I, I could technically, I guess on my turn, move these dudes if I wanted to. But I don't have to. I guess use both move actions. That's it for this turn. <laughs> no boathouse? I know, lame, right? That's it for this turn. All right. So the horse dudes are trading resources. Oh, and you've got a... So I moved, they trade... Oh, this is cool. It's kind of like they got the Hearthstone. Gives you the uh, the past actions. Let's try one of the action connect with the armored bonus now. So I can pay one gold to gain popularity. Thanks to the armory, performing any top row action in that section gives you an additional one power. Which is because I have a house... Ah, oh, so I gained popularity and I gained a power from combo wambo time. Let's construct something new. So like the build action. Pay the required wood, which would be four or two. Now it's four. And I can build a mill. Oh, you. Oh, I see what it's saying to do. Because we built the armory. These are the structures. So the mine. The mill and whatever the popularity one is. Okay. Pay four, choose the structure from your player mat, and place it on a lake, non lake hex with your worker and no other structures. Okay, select like that. Place the available hex with at least one worker. The mill is ready. That's it for this turn. Okay, cool. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Pays coins. They're. They upgraded, I guess. So they earn cash. And then upgraded. Pay two oil. Okay, you upgrade. Now that you've got a mill set and working, let's see how it improves your economy. Select like the produce action. So this is going to cost me five dudes? Or no. Grants you an extra territory to produce. Produces as if it were one worker. So it only costs me... I don't. I still don't understand the production cost. So they're saying it. So I have five dudes, and according to this, I have five black guys out here somewhere. Um, I guess they're all on here, right? So if I have five workers, it makes it more expensive to produce. I don't understand why that's more expensive. I see that I can make, and why is it produces if it were one worker? Anybody uh, clarify that? So I understand that I'm going to make... This can make two workers. The horse on the left is me. Uh, yeah, I think this this turn in this tutorial is me here. This is the enemy horse dude. But I'm not playing against him. I'm just in the tutorial right now. I'm figuring out how to produce. Yeah, I'm a cat. Uh, okay. Got it. Complete the produce action. All right, so I'll just I'll make a bunch of metal. One, two, because I have two dudes there. Final notes. Only one structure build in each territory. Opponent can't use your structures. A territory with one of your structures on it under your control. However, if an opponent's unit is on the territory of the structure, the territory is under their control. Structures cannot be destroyed or moved. You may build on the factory territory. You can't build on lakes or bases. Okay. The Scythe Workers Union. Oh, gotcha. You can produce from two territories. Yeah, I think my question, though, is when it comes to production, like, what does it mean it's more expensive? Does it, Or do, am I just understanding that wrong? That I can produce more stuff if I have more dudes on it? I get that. That, like, if I have three dudes on, like, a, a metal spot, I can produce three pieces of metal. But why is it saying it costs more if I have, like, five dudes on the board total? And why is it a benefit for it to cost as if I only had one dude? 
That's where I'm getting a little confused on production. Because it seems pretty simple, but I, I'm kind of not seeing why it's more expensive. I just assume I have more workers, I can make more stuff. Okay, we have an enlist action. Enlist gives you passive income whenever opponents perform bottom actions. The resource used to enlist recruits is food. For every new worker, you get extra tax for when doing production. It costs more popularity or something to produce. Ah. So if I have more workers, I'm I'm making them work harder. Or they have to work harder? So this isn't like Warcraft, <laughs> where I make like... I guess we'll find out, or it might be coin. It's like I make a billion little worker dudes, and they go chop wood. Enlist gives you passive income whenever opponents perform bottom actions. The resource used to enlist recruits is is uh, bread, food. Pick an ongoing recruit bonus. Assign with a bottom row action. Pick a one-time bonus. Two gold. Get an ongoing bonus whenever you or your direct neighbor takes an assigned bottom row action. Ah, so you got a like a dot. You can dot your opponents. That's cool. Okay, thanks, you fork. Let's select the enlist action. Enlist. So this is enlist. This is mechs. This is upgrade. This is build. Okay. So I'm going to enlist. Pay attention to the opponent's combat cards. They have already got their recruits enlisted and are going to benefit from your enlist action. What? I don't understand. What? This seems to be talking about two different things. Why is this affecting combat cards? I thought this was just me and, and like, uh, affecting them over time. Hit the highlight hex three times to pay three food. Choose the ongoing bonus first. Let's activate the coin. Benefit tied to the deploy mech action. So I'm going to dot my opponent one of my neighbors on the board. They're referring to this, I believe. These dudes and these dudes. I think. And whenever they deploy a mech, I'm going to make money. I think I'll make two coin. Right. Here you can select a one-time bonus for enlisting a recruit. Let's choose the bonus with two coins. So I'm going to make two coins. The enemy's got their... What? Why did they get bonuses? The enemy's got their bonuses. In a two-player game, you may only gain this bonus once per game for each bottom row action. Qua? Recruits can grant you a nice passive income. The earlier you enlist them, the more you benefit. Why did all my opponents get tons of money? I thought that was my way of, like, making money off them. Okay, I think we're just going to have to play and learn here, huh? We're going to have to do... I'm a little confused there. A little confused. I'm going to keep moving forward. Not Lex level plays right now. Whew. Chris's head's exploding with four <laughs> these types of games. Okay. Each player starts the game with two objectives. All right, we're going to learn about objectives that are kept secret from the other players. You can only achieve one objective star per game. Okay, so I can achieve one of my objectives. I have northern advantage and pop population advantage. You can read the details by selecting the dove in the upper bar. We can fulfill an objective by either controlling three tundra, that's my northern advantage, or three village territories for population advantage. Okay, I might have an idea, but it's going to require a special ability. I don't know if I dig the third player uh, tutorial, <laughs> the third person tutorial. Each faction has a special ability. You can check yours by clicking the faction emblem near the stats. Your workers may move across rivers. Ah, the Nordic people can move across rivers. Nordic workers are accompanied with swimmers, accomplished swimmers who refuse to complain even when wading through the coldest of waters. They may move across the rivers onto any type of terrain except lakes. This ability applies only to workers, not the character or mechs. Ah, so the workers can move across water to get stuff. That's cool. While the character controls a village, we can use the swim ability for the workers to gain control over the other two neighbor villages. Let's select the move action. While the character controls... Where's our character? 
for blue. Oh, he went down here, I guess. How did he get there? So this is our character. Huh. We can swim, Billy, for the workers to gain control over two neighbor villages. Select the move action. Move both workers across the river to the neighbor villages. Done. Done. Everyone in position! Remember to mark the objective as completed before ending your turn. Ah, uh, I have to mark it. Control at least three village territories. Did we do that? I guess so. Is this considered a village? I can't see. Yeah. How would I mark it? Oh, right here. That's the mark. Complete an intern. Got it. Well done. You earned a star. Yeah, woo! We're nuts. Note that the other objectives become obsolete now. Okay, I guess I can't accomplish the other one, but I got a star, because it's a two-player game, I guess. Next mission, dude. We're nuts. Objective achieved. We got bowl. Okay, dude. Nordic. Let's go. Wow, this is the, the tutorial still going. Let's see, Polania. How much more could I learn in this game? What's what's left in this game? My gosh. Okay, now we're one star away from winning the game, <laughs> but earning a six star doesn't necessarily mean you've won. In this final episode, we're going to get familiar with the scoring formula. Woo! Let's get learned on, guys. Before we deep dive into the maths. <laughs> Good one, game. Let's check the structure bonus. We'll need it for the calculation. Okay, structure bonus. Currently you have two buildings on the tunnels which can give you $4. Uh-huh. The number of tunnel territories with your structures on them. Mine does not count as a tunnel for this purpose. Okay. So, two gives you four bucks, one gives you two bucks. Three to four, you get six bucks. So that's like a, a thing you want, your structure bonuses. I guess this changes. Does this change every game? Is this one of those factory bonuses I'd heard about before? Okay, I see that. I understand. Now let's take a look at the scoring cheat sheet. Number of coins. So the final score in total of number of coins in hand, structure bonuses, value of every star you've earned, value of every hex you control, Factory counts as three. Value of every two resources you have. Okay, coins in hand, 12 bucks. So we have nine. We have nine, so... What? Okay, so... Why do I get 12 bucks? Because I have nine. The... Or wait, where's coins? I don't... This doesn't show your coin. Number of coins in hand. Nine, but I'm getting 12. Oh, note the multipliers coming from the third popularity level. Uh, I guess we just don't see the coin bonus. What's up, Heroic? Is that true, Euphoric? Or anyone that's familiar with this? That the coin bonus coins in hand is 12? I see 9. Why would I get 12, 12 points? I don't see the popularity bonus. I'm relying on you for it. Oh, this isn't mine. Oh, you're right. I'm not. I'm Nordic right now, I guess. Oh, okay. So this is... If I was to click... I guess I can't check it. So this is Polania's score calculation. Okay. So why do... Oh, here's mine. Okay, thank you. Thanks, dude. <laughs> that was a little confusing. Why would they show me theirs? They're just showing me that I'm losing? Is that the idea? Coins in hand, nine bucks. Got it. Structure bonus. Four dollars. Uh, I guess I don't have a calculation of how many structures I have. Uh, three. As I see, I have three structures. One, two, three. So because I have structures and I have three... Where's my other structure? Is there any way to determine how many structures you have? I see I have one, two, three. It's hard to see them because they're like blue. Yes, Heroic. Are you familiar with uh, Scythe yourself in person? This is my first time playing Scythe in any format, let alone digital, so I'm learning. I'm kind of just trying to take it in why I have $4.
when I still don't see my structure bonus here either. I see three. I see that I should get... I don't know. Okay. Stars. I see I have five stars. Five times three gets three dollars. So 15 times three. Okay, because that's three right here. I have five. Zero to six gets me times three dollars per star. Territories is four times two dollars per territory. So I got eight. Okay. Resources, two pair times one. I literally have two resources, which I have no idea where I would see that. third tab this doesn't let me click around I guess it's not really <laughs> now it won't let me show show anything okay I think because the tutorial it's blocking me out of a lot of things heroic says I got the legendary box oh filled it up with all my scythe stuff oh nice dude good for you man just go through it Polonia Republic $49 okay I lost I don't think this is helping me. The scoring thing right here is not helping me, is it? Let's do it. Move. Let's do what? So it's saying I get another chance? I'll learn better playing the game. Yeah, I think so. I think this scoring thing is a little weird. How would I move him to an empty tunnel? Why does it want me to go there? What? What? How was I able to do that? Whatever, dude. And the final action, build. Pay the required wood. Okay, I need three wood. I'll get to build. Popularity thing. Place it on the tunnel for the structure bonus. Okay, boom! I'm nuts, woo! So this really isn't, uh... Yeah. Oh, did I have a mine on there, random? Ah, uh, okay. That's what it was. I didn't think I had a mine there. Yeah, I think the end of the tutorial here got a little bit more confusing. Like, I guess I... <laughs> There's not even firework sounds, dude! <laughs> That's fine. It's still early access, guys. Early access. Um... Okay. So here's the final scoring in game summary. This will probably make more sense to me as we play. As we play. I mean, I kind of get that there's a table. I need to get popularity is important. And I just got to keep an eye on things. It's saying I won by one point, but I didn't do any of that. So it'll probably make more sense as we play. Heroic says, I've played several times. Never won, but I just have fun exploring and building stuff. Moving cool miniatures around, enjoying choosing my actions each turn. Yeah, I think I think that's what we got to get into, guys. All right, guys, we've, we've gotten learned on... Three. Tutorial is done. I think it's time we try to play. What do you guys say? New game. We'll do two easy bots. That's fine, right? Uh, player mat. Why does this say? Oh, medium, easy. Okay, cool. And I don't think online isn't available yet, but I guess you could do local. Um, cool. I guess promo cards are in there. I don't know what that is. Uh, I'm going to choose... Which faction was it? I kind of like... I'm going to go with the bear, dude. I'm going to go bear. They can be random. Um, is there any reason I should change the player mat? Oh, you can set them. That's right. I don't want to... I'll just let them be random. Now let's start the game, guys. Here we go. Let's enter this game. Let's go. Wish me luck, guys. I'm going to win the first game, all right? All right. Faction ability. So these things I, I think are auto are randomly determined for to make each game different. So the faction ability meander pick up to two options per encounter card. So I can choose two options on each encounter card for my faction, Polania faction with my bear. This is in honor of Lyle being up in north. Um, I can have secret objectives. I have to monopolize the market. Control at least nine tokens of the same resource at the end of my turn. So I need to get nine nine resources of of one kind. Harvest advantage, control at least three farm territories at the end of your turn. Pfft. So are we just going to try to, like, combo wombo this thing, get farms and make tons of food? I think so. Structure bonus, over the tunnels. The number of tunnel territories with your structures on them. A mine does not count as a tunnel for this purpose. So I get a structure bonus. 
So if I build on tunnels, it's good for me too. Okay. So it's Polania versus Nordic versus the Crimea. All right, let's go, guys. Polania starts with two power, three, I guess, level one combat cards. I get four coins and two popularity. Let's do it, guys. Here we go. Here we go. It's game time. Wish me luck. It's Crimea. They got agricultural mat. I have an industrial mat. I think I would have liked an agricultural mat. But that would have been nuts, right? And that would be a nuts combo if I'm trying to make farms. I get to go first. My first turn. What do we do? What do we do? So I can choose my things. I can move. I guess I should take a look down here, right? Because this gets mixed up a bit. So I need to try to get farms. Oh, I've got one dude on food right now. So that's sick. Um... I need to monopolize the market. How do I make more dudes? I need to get here, right? So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is... So I could produce. I don't... I have four coin, so I could trade for things, or I could get some power. I don't think I'm worried about power yet, right? Um, the winning things are... What is the easiest one to do? Is upgrades. I like to upgrade stuff. Uh, we need oil. I'm touching some oil here. So I think... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this dude. I'm going to choose move action. Oh, it's over the, that's over the land. Okay. Is there oil down here? No. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to move this guy here. How come I can't do that? Am I missing something, guys? Oh, I have to confirm it. Oh, that's going to be annoying. Just remember, it's one action on top bar and then bottom. Or you can skip the either. So the, I'm going to have to skip this because I don't have any wood, right? I have no wood anywhere. Okay, so I'm just going to move this guy here. He's going to move here. Uh, I guess I could have produced, like, one wood, right? Um, this dude... Oh, I'm gonna move this guy. Here. Does she produce resources? I forget now. Does character... Do characters produce resources? That's gonna be my next turn, is produce resources, because I'm just gonna try to get lots of workers and just get a ton of food going here. Uh, and I'm gonna end my turn, because I don't have any wood. He makes oil. And he produces one food and a dude. Just remember, it's one action on top. Okay, character doesn't... Only workers. Oh, oh okay. Only, only workers create stuff. The green icon is encounters. This right here. Didn't I, didn't I get an encounter for coming here? How do I, how do I activate this encounter? I thought it was when you come on to the... Or is that an action? I thought I... Oh, my character has to do the encounter. Ah, thank you. Okay, so I think I might produce. Um, I'm going to produce. I'm going to produce this turn. How come I can produce oil? How am I able to produce oil? Or is it just telling me? No, I can't produce oil. Okay, so I'm going to create a worker and one food. That's my turn. Well, what's the bottom part? I need I need metal and I could make a mech, but I don't have any metal anywhere. I just have a worker and food. One food, right? Okay. So he's going to go. He's moving. He's moving. He upgrades. He gets two oil and upgrades. Ah, I see where I'm bad mode. I need to be worrying about upgrading. So everyone's creating a ton of oil to upgrade right away. Where can I get oil? Oh, I'm kind of stuck here, aren't I? Like, I can't walk. I I'm going to have to be able to build. I see. 
Oh, I could trade for it. That's true. And that's this action. So one coin, but I only have one item, right? Because I need to be able to... All right, my goal here is going to be I'm going to move... Or I'm just going to produce again. I can't produce. Oh, I can't do that because I already... Okay, so I'm going to move. I'm going to choose move. I'm going to move this dude here. What? Well, yes, confirm. I'm going to move this dude... here and I'm going to move this dude here let's get an encounter going guys boom encounter time let's find out what our first encounter is Doosh. take a ride on a ferry as the wind tossles my long flowing hair gain two popularity trade with the caravan for a variety of goods pay two dollars to gain any three resources so I have the ability, I can choose both of these, right? That's my that's my faction ability. Where's that? Uh, right here? Pick two options per encounter card. So I'm oh I oh this is sick. I'm gonna do this. Pay two bucks, and I'm gonna gain some oil, right? I can gain three. So I'm gonna gain I need three oil to upgrade. I'm just going to do this to get my oil. I could have done that. I could have gotten some more farm goods to become awesome. And then I'm just going to gain two popularity. Boom. Dude, that's nuts. Yes! Counters are awesome. Uh, I guess I could have gotten wood and built something in that turn. Uh, as well. Dang. Alright, we're, we're learning, right? We're learning. Probably should have gotten the wood. And I could have built a building, which would have made things awesome. Okay, but I need to catch up with everyone. They're upgrading like crazy. Right? Okay, so we can take a little thing here. Let's see what's going on. So how much power? 16 power. No one's anywhere close to that. There's no coins. Popularity. What's the popularity thing? 18 popularity. Okay, so we're good. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. How do I... Whoa! Oh, this is so you can see how many resources people have. How do I make this go away? Uh, anybody know how to make this, this go away? Why it's increasing? Oh, it's order. Oh, this is order of resource. I see. How do I make this little screen go away? Uh, uh, oh, it's right there. All right. We're going to take this action, right? Because we're going to gain some power. I've got the coin. I'm going to gain some power. And I'm going to... Or do I want a combat card? Uh, I'm doing pretty good in combat. I need some power. So I'm going to do this to bolster my power. And then I'm going to upgrade. Yes. Unlock an extra benefit for any top action with upgrade. Decrease the cost of any bottom row action. So, why is it... Am I doing something wrong here? Is it saying I can only upgrade this one? Or do I not have enough coin? Ah. Wait, what? Oh, I have to pay the three oil. Okay, okay. I see. I didn't pay the I didn't pay the amount. Learning, learning. So We could upgrade our popularity gain or our movement or coin gain. Uh, 
Uh, I'm going to do our movement. And then... If I upgrade... Okay, so did I upgrade my, my structures? Or my mechs? I'm not worried about fighting anything. Oh, what's this? Enlist, right. I think I'm going to do my build. So it makes it cheaper to build, right? And I gain three coins? Oh, because I upgrade, I get three coins. Sick, in turn. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I forgot I needed to put the resources in off the board, rather than the game just being like... It's interesting to me how the resources and stuff like sit on the board itself. Like, that's pretty interesting. Like, they're gaining mad resources, it looks like. Okay, so I could produce again. I kind of want to build stuff. So if I move, I don't have two wood anywhere. I have one food. Um, I can produce. I want to get some more, some more, uh, things, but I'm gonna have to tunnel out of here, right? Because I don't have the weight of traveling across the water. So I need to build. Uh, I need to get some wood. We need wood. So I'm gonna move. I have three move actions, which is kind of ridiculous because I can't, I can't get out of here. I'm on this little island. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move Yes, I want to move. I want to move this dude here. I'm going to move this dude here. Do you want to leave your resources unattended? You can use a transport window to carry the resources with your units. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can carry my resources. Hell yeah, carry my resource. Boop. Take that with me. Go here. And I guess I'll just leave this dude here. There's not really any point in me moving anymore, right? So I'm going to end. Yes. Okay, there's a lot of confirmations happening here. I'm sure you can turn those off in options. I'm just figuring my way of how the game flows digitally here. This is a, I think that's a lot of me just figuring out where to click. I know what I want to do. I'm just figuring out where I got to do it. All right, now we're going to produce. Now we're going to produce a bunch of wood. Because I need to build a tunnel. So I gotta get off this island. No, I need to produce. Confirm. So can I can I produce three wood here then? Yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I'm nuts. Get wood. Now I have three wood. I don't have any metal. To produce a mech, so I end my turn. Okay. Okay, guys, we're getting nuts right now. We're getting nuts. Oh, sounds like Baby Bear is waking up. I'm going to have to go get Baby Bear in a sec here. He's going to help me produce. Okay. So what are they doing? Everyone's producing and moving. Everyone's producing. Everyone's trading. Getting oiled. Upgrade. Okay. No, no. I'm not wasting my turns. I'm trying to build. Yeah, I thought it had to be the action following the column. No? I can't just do a top action and then any random bottom action. No? I was under the impression that, like, I have to... It's in the same column, says Magnetic. Okay, cool. Right. So I was kind of building for my... So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move again. Since I produced last turn, I'm going to move. I'm going to move my dudes out of here. Confirm I'm going to move. Move. Uh, I'm going to take my food with me. I'm going to move here. Move him here. Can I build with my character? Magnetic says, one of the key tricks in this game is to be able to do your top row and then do your bottom row in the same turn as often as possible. Yeah, I see that. You want you want total action economy. Um, If I move... So, I guess it doesn't matter where I put the tunnel, right? So, I'm going to move all these... Oh, no, no, no. Take all my wood, I guess. I mean, I'm going to use it all anyway. It doesn't matter. Come with me. Okay, and then I'm going to build, or I'm going to use two of it, right? Uh, and then I'm going to build. Pay two. Oh, yes. Pay two wood. 
build a structure. Choose a structure for my player mat. Uh, I need a mine. Build it there, so you have to put it there. Yes, we got a mine, guys. We're nuts. So, where's my thing? So my thing, uh, right here. Collect, control at least three farm cherries at, at the end of your turn. So I need to get some more farms. Okay. Oh, this will be easy to get this one. Oh, maybe not. She's right there. Where's another farm? This one, maybe, up here to the north. If I come in here, maybe like this. That was probably pretty dangerous, right? Chris, are you playing Scythe badly? I'm learning Scythe. This is my first game. Um, so I thought nine tokens of the same resource. So I'm trying to get nine tokens. I'm trying to get a bunch of food is kind of my goal here and three farm territories. Um, I think I can only accomplish one objective in a two-player game. So I think the easiest one for me to get is going to be the three farms. I've got one, and if I can send these three dudes through this thing, I can get up here. And this one's real easy, so that'll be two, and then get to this one for three. That's my goal. Small goals, first game, in the turn, right? Look at all these little minions he's got, man. He's making a ton of dudes. Oh, he's got two farms next to him. Okay. Power. He's paying power for something. What did he just do? Oh, he's enlisting. So I forget. Oh, Dr. Hannah, the 500 bits. I'm running, running out. out to get lunch. Just in case I don't make it back before this ends, here's crits for the victory I'm sure will occur. Also beans to torture Chris. <laughs> oh, that's two beans. Two beans in the midst of my battle. Thank you so much for the 500 bits, Dr. Hannah. I appreciate it. Uh, yellow is so good, says Magnetic Llama. Yellow, the faction? Oh, these dudes down here, the horse dudes? I, I don't know much about them. I don't know much about the Crimea, I think they are. Thank you so much, dude. Two, two of these beans for... I uh, had two pop out earlier for you, Dr. Hannah. You know what? I'll do them at the same time. Uh, I got chocolate. So we're going to have a chocolate and a... What is this? Co moldy cheese and chocolate. This could be really bad, dude. Moldy cheese and chocolate. Oh, also, I think you put us over for... That's 10 burpees as well. Dude, 10 burpees. I'll have to bust those out as soon as I finish this turn. Chocolate and moldy cheese for you, Dr. Hannah. I got chocolate. Or no. I think I got chocolate and caramel corn. Mmm, chocolate caramel corn, man. Thank you. It's been a good morning. Well, I, had, I got toothpaste earlier, which wasn't bad. Best day ever. Well, I got the I got the toothpaste, which is technically bad according to them, but it was pretty good. But thank you so much for the the chocolate caramel corn. <laughs> thank you so much for that. I lucked out. Everybody gets one, right? Okay. Okay. So I'm not really sure what they're doing. So magnetic llama says yellow's primary ability is once per turn they may use a combat card as any type of resource. Okay, so that's why she was dropping combat cards and gaining a whole bunch of stuff. Yes, and Forest of Shadows did drop today. Um, it's supposed to come out at oh, 30 minutes ago. If you guys are into One Deck Dungeon Digital, that's officially out. I talked to Chris from his body today, and he said it should be out at noon. So hopefully it's out in Steam. Don't take that as like official word. He doesn't like saying that as like it should be out. So be sure you check it. See if you can grab Forest of Shadows now as DLC for One Deck Dungeon Digital. And tomorrow we'll actually be streaming it here um, as long as I get the the DLC downloaded today. Woo! So come check out some more awesome digital games being shown off at um, at Gen Con this week. It's going to be sick. We're going to be checking out some Forest of Shadows tomorrow and uh, seeing if I can get a win. Okay. What was I doing here? I need to get these farms. I can't move. I think I'm going to produce. I don't have any oil because I want to also get this dude. I can't move. Damn. I could get two oil here for a coin. A bunch of farm allows me to set up enlist, which is great. 
It's up on Steam, says ETG. Confirmed. Thanks, dude. Awesome. Yeah, I was hoping for the moldy cheese. Yeah, I know. Everybody's hoping for the moldy cheese, Dr. <laughs> Except me. Um, I'm going to produce a bunch of food. Select territories protect. Each worker on the select territory may produce one token. The reduced source token is placed on territories produced. Okay, so boom. Okay, confirm. I'm going to make a bunch of food here. In case I have problems getting to my farm regions, I can control farm regions. Um, I don't have any steel, so I'm done. There... Okay, what did they do? He's doing a crazy turn right now. Recruit bonus. Okay, he produced three food, three food, and then enlisted. I still not really 100% understanding enlistment yet. Um, he gained a battle card of some sort. And then he produced, he paid a power and gained four food. Oh my god. These people are getting insane right now. Or at least Crimea is crazy. Okay, so I'm just going to go after these farms. I'm, I'm kind of chasing something probably stupid here. But I'm going to move. Uh, this one's an easy one for me, I think. I'm going to move, confirm. I'm going to select. He's taking the wood with him, I guess. Um, I'm going to leave that wood behind, actually. Uh, and I'm going to go here. Because he's just a dude. So I now control this according to the rules, I believe. Now, if I... I wish he wasn't here. I wish he was over here. Um, I have two movements. So if I pop a dude out here, I could go one, two. Or I could go one, two and, and be here. When you enlist, you gain that immediate bonus. And when other, another faction uses that action, I also gain stuff. Okay, cool. That sounds about like you know, yeah, what they were trying to tell me. I, I want to get this 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 bonus here again. I love these encounter cards, um, you, since I don't get them with these guys, as we now know. But I think I'm going to make this rush. I'm going to do a rush. Oh, I see. I can't... I have to move... I can't move three spaces. I have to move... I see. Okay. Um, I wish I could build again, but I don't I'd have another wood I'm lacking one wood I believe I don't have any wood anywhere so ending my turn nothing I can do with the four food right okay trying so he's trading he traded he traded to gain two metal then he paid a buck to gain two power He's getting an ongoing bonus from building from his enlistment. So he gained so much stuff. Uh, and he gained a power card and a power card. Everybody's like banking off each other but me, right? Is this, is this me being bad mode right now is what's happening? <sighs> Great. Okay, so I have mad farms. I have some steel. Um... I mean, is there any reason I want to start grabbing power cards? I mean, it's always good to have power, right? Because one of these bonuses here is, what, uh, 16 power? So if I do this, I don't have any oil. Like, I keep wanting to produce. I want to produce. I don't have any oil yet. I mean, I could trade. I have some bucks. I could trade and get two oil. I don't have any other metal. I think I'm just going to produce. Since I've got dudes on random stuff. Uh, I can choose two things. I think I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to keep making mad food. I'm just going to make a bunch of food. I'm going after those bonuses. I don't know why. I'm just going after my objectives. I've got a lot of food, so maybe I'll do a trade and enlist here. Oh, oh. he's got a mech, dude. What is that? Plus one speed on the mech. 
he chose from his mech upgrade. Oh, I probably should have built mech so I could make the run. If I'd understand the map, if I understood how the map works more, I probably should have done that, right? Man, I'm bad at this. <laughs> like, I would love for him to have two speed from the mech upgrade. Um... Okay, so right now we control two f two farms. If if he's on a spot, I control it, right? If my character's on a spot. So, I'm moving. Uh, move 3 units. I'm going to move him here. That's that's something I definitely want to do. And I'm kind of liking where my dudes are. I'm not really worried about them getting run off. I can't move him twice, right? I can only move him... You can only one move one character once. I'm starting to think I shouldn't have moved him here. Is there anything else that we want? Actually, you know what? I'm going to move this dude here. We're going after the factory, guys. We're going to get a factory action. Oh, no. Take my take my food, man. Of course take my food. Am I at all threatened here? I don't think so. And then I think I'm done. Because I don't think there's any reason I want to move this guy away from here. I want to keep him close and get some more steel. So I'm going to end. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm done moving. And I can't do my steel action. Or my wood. Oh, wait, could I have? No. I only have one wood. I need two wood. Ah. I'm starting to learn that uh, at the beginning, I probably should be upgrading more. Um, where can I see my resources? I was kind of just showing them up here. Uh, right here. You see these all, this whole line up here? I've got one wood, six food, no steel, no oil. I had to extend it out, but I'm going to do this. I think that's important. So you can see it at the top of the screen here now, Jonesy. I didn't realize I could show this uh, constantly. These guys are just, like, killing each other right now off their enlistment bonuses. So you can see they have, like, a bajillion dollars, and I have uh, no dollars. Okay, let's. I think it's encounter time. Oh, we can't move. No, it's production time. I think it's... I'm almost to this factory. I really want to get to this factory. Uh, it's production time. I just keep producing and moving. I don't know if that's good. You need to get oil production, which is down here. Yeah, so you can upgrade and get a ton of money. Yeah, you're right. That They've been making so much oil, it's ridiculous. All right, so we're going to produce then. We'll produce one oil. Um, definitely a food. I probably could use the steel, but I'm just going to go food and oil. And then in the turn and watch them make a bajillion more dollars. Yeah, I'm trying to get to some encounters. I'm going to get, I need to, I needed to, my plan, I should have thought ahead and looked at the map if I knew the game at all. I should have worked to get upgrades to move better and then worked to get a mech to get speed so that I could get to encounters faster with my player uh, character. Yeah, it's it's awesome to, because that's yeah that's my that's my faction's ability right choose two things. See right now I'm about to do that, so I'm gonna move. I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna go to the factory, so I'm gonna move. Do I get the factory? Do I get the factory action as soon as I move on to it, right here with my worker, or is it only if you build on the factory? Because first I'm gonna go here. Ah, confirm. Go here. Yes, encounter time. Woo! What? Oh, I have to finish my movement? Well, we'll find out. No, I'll take all my resources. Take all the resources. What? Yeah, take my resources, please. Boop! Mac the factory with some resources, and this dude is gonna stay here. And chill. He's gonna stay there and chill. Um, you will be taxed heavily, though, and lose popularity with each produce. Oh, you're talking to e ETG. Okay. All right. 
Uh, in move. No, I'm good where I'm at. Oh, yes. I want to end that extra. Boom! Okay, here we go, guys. Let's see what our next encounter is. We got the encounter. Remember, you can also move workers with the special dude. With my player character? I thought I couldn't take workers with me. I thought it was only mechs. All right. We got the train action, guys. Choo-choo. Help an inventor install a heavy gear. Gain two oil and one popularity. Help the inventor and fund his crazy inventions. Pay $3 to build a structure. Oh, what was my thing over here? If you get four structures, um, I need to get uh, right here. No. And then pay two poverty to gain four oil. Oh. Yeah, I think it's only mechs. Yeah. I think... I think I need to gain two oil and one popularity. I think I'm just going to gain all this popularity and gain tons of oil, guys. Because I've been so slow on the oil, I need to catch up. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to steal the inventor's fuel source. Take four oil. Yeah, they didn't like that, but whatever. And I'm going to gain a popularity and take two more oil. Boom! Get rich. Get liked. Get popular. Um, I can't build anything because I still only have one wood. Uh, when do I get this factory action? Did anyone say? No, no one said a factory action, huh? Okay. So I've got my dudes here. All right, in turn. I guess... I guess I have to build to get my factory action, huh? I assume uh, d since this is still in early access, they're eventually... Oh, now they can travel over to water? I'm in trouble. Just gaining a ton of power is what this person's doing, right? Oh, got four recruits. They've got a star. We've got no stars, guys. Oh, is it the character has to get the factory action? I can't do it with a worker? Ugh. All right, well, we've got a ton of oil now. So we're going to bolster our power. That sucks. If I build a building on the factory, I get something? Because I could trade for, like, two wood. Oh, no, that's in list. Man, I want to build something. Crap. Uh, I think I just bolster my power and then upgrade something this turn. Let's bolster some power. Two power. And now it's upgrade time with all my oil. So one, I'll get rid of this oil so it doesn't have to carry it. Okay. Uh, production action. I could add a production action and gain a card. I could gain more coins or gain popularity. I, I want to produce, man. And the bottom action upgrade. Uh, cheaper to make a mech. Uh, cheaper to upgrade? Ooh. I have four oil left, right? Maybe I go cheaper to upgrade so I can get more coin. Um, I think I'm going to need to start making mechs, guys. Cheapen the upgrades? Okay. I'm going to go cheap, cheapen the upgrades, guys. Leveling up. Level up. Okay, upgrades are now cheaper. And uh, that's that turn. That's that turn. Oh. Ah. Okay, they're enlisting. I need to enlist, man. I feel like ah, I feel like I'm missing out on so many free resources and, and cash, and they're just like I'm the only one exploring this place. I'm assuming I'm the wrong faction to be exploring around, huh? Upgrade star, six upgrades. Okay, I see. Upgrade star, so we get coins for that action. Yeah, so I can just get rich getting that star. 
What's everyone else at star-wise? So Crimea's the only one with a star. Look how much... Yeah, you're right. I think that's exactly what they did. They enlisted four dudes. Or recruited four dudes. I think that's an easy one too, huh? Okay. Um, we take one more action. I gotta go grab little baby bear. Uh, I want to build here. We need some wood though. Um, so maybe I produce now? I produce so I can get some wood. I don't have any way to get wood besides trading. So if I trade, I can get the wood. I have this. I could enlist. I need to start enlisting, I think. Um, I'm going to trade for wood. I'm going to trade for wood. Select a resource panel on a hex to place it there. Trade action will be restricted to this hex. Okay, so I want wood. And I only need two wood. What else do I need more of? Um, I can upgrade with the four oil. I don't know if one more oil is really going to benefit me. Uh, I think I might just buy another food and work towards that, that bonus. Oh, because I forgot I need to I need to get this guy back. Oh no, I can get this guy right here. I see what I'm doing wrong. Okay. So now I can use my wood my food to enlist someone, right? Activate an ongoing bonus for any bottom row action. You'll gain it whenever you or the player on either side of you takes that action. Gain a one time bonus. Okay. C confirm. I'm gonna use four food. Ditch this one. Um, let's say, what have they been using a lot of? So, Northern Dude, I think the Nordic have been using this a lot. Um, to build mechs. Uh, they already did their enlist act. I'm going to start, they haven't built a lot of stuff. Wait. So, when they... So, basically, this means that when they get popularity... Um, I gain stuff, right? And I want to gain power, probably. Because I haven't been getting power. I get two power. I want some more power. Because I'm, be I'm falling behind on the power, the power race here. Okay, I'll be right back. We've got enlisted stuff now. Oh, wait, I want to see if we get anything here. They didn't do anything. They didn't do anything that made it. They traded, got some... some. Oh, he's getting all kinds of steel, right? Um, I think we need to move to set up our... Oh, crap. If I move him off here, I need him... Oh, I can move him here and him here. Okay, so we're going to move. We're going to get this uh, objective done. Yes, confirm. This dude, here. Boop, boop. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to build this turn on the factory for science real fast. Yes, I got to go get baby bear. Baby bear. Um, take all my oil, of course. And go. Um, so I've got three farms under my control, right? So I'm done with my move. In move. Yes, I want to end that action. Then we're going to Build a building. Choose one structure in a player mat and place it on a non-lake hex with your worker. All right, so we already built the mine. What? What? Oh, I have to build it. Pay two, two wood, right? Um, so the mill produces a, a resource if if I put this on the I want to put it here on the factory ooh the trade action whenever you bolster action also gain one popularity um my popularity is lacking huh I'm gonna do that I'm gonna put it here boom factory action what 
Oh, I can complete my objective. That's right. So we've completed our objective of the farms. So we go to the objectives. Boom, completed. Objective achieved. Yes. So I can't do this one. This one's now obsolete. I don't care about food anymore besides uh, enlisting dudes. But I didn't get the factory action. So I guess I have to get my character there, huh? Is this what we're learning in their first game here? Is that it doesn't matter unless my character's there? Look at them. They are all together here. Everybody's getting mechs. They're now speedy fast. Wow. Okay. So how far along am I? Where's the upgrades? Is it this? I've done two. And we need to do six to get our star. So I got a star for accomplishing my thing. So it's one star to one star, right? Um, and this just ends the game at six stars is all that really happens, right? Your character gets you factory card, not building a building. Oh, okay. Well, I built a building anyway, huh? Okay, we're going to upgrade this turn, guys. We're going to bolster. Get some popularity, get some power. We get to 16 power, get another star. And then I'm going to upgrade. Confirm. Uh, we need to use two oil from somewhere here. And then we get to upgrade a thing. I did pay two oil. Oh, I have to choose my upgrade, huh? Um, coin gain, popularity gain. I think I'm going to upgrade... I'm going to bolster the power. And then what else should we do? Yes, I'm going to get Bear. He's, he's sleeping upstairs just a little bit. He's starting to wake up. Um, I think we're going to do my uh, build a mech thing. Because in the future, we're just going to get crazy. Yeah, I'm not doing, getting too carried away. But he's, he's telling me it's time to wake up. So I'll be right back.
All right, I've bolstered my power, and I've enlisted Baby Bear, who will be one year old in one week, guys. One week, and Baby Bear will be one year old. All right, Baby Bear. He says, hello, everybody. Thanks for waiting, guys. Sorry about that, stepping away. In a very intense game here where I'm losing. Well, I don't know. I have one star. They have one star. Oh, everybody's got a star now. Let's say everybody enlisted four people except for me. Okay. So... What do I want to do this turn? Um, what did I do last turn? I I bolstered, right? So I can't bolster this turn? It makes it look like I can. But I guess it's not glowing like these ones. Maybe um producing. I get a bunch of I get a bunch of food. Hi everybody. Says, hey guys, I'm eating my bottle. He's like, Daddy, eating that bottle. I would really like to move. get here because I just kind of want to experiment with getting like the factory things Ooh. if I move I can get another encounter though there's no there's no thing for encounters is there no if you fight twice if you win twice you can win too huh so you don't have to fight in this game is, is the idea um, if I go for this he's probably going to fight me isn't he if I take this encounter, he'll probably try to fight me, which would send me back here, which might not be a bad thing, right? Hey, what's up, Daftaru? How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. So I'm gonna I'm gonna move. Yes, and I'm gonna move. Oh, I'm taking that oil with me. That's right. I'm gonna move there. Uh, seeing is why I'm on this factory and I don't need to be here anymore. Um, let's see, I have how much oil? Zero oil. Is it because I'm carrying it right now? Must be because I'm carrying it. Uh, because I should have two oil left. I have no wood. Um, I need to start making some mechs. I've got my worker out here just, like, wandering around. Uh, he's gonna go there. This dude... I'm gonna set up to get a bunch of wood next turn. Maybe wood, dudes. Ooh, there's an encounter right here, too. Uh, okay. I kind of want mechs, though. What do I need to do for the mechs? So we're gonna get some wood... I'll go for wood. Do I have one more move? What? Oh, that's right. I moved on to the encounter. Encounter time, guys. Yes. Oh, you think fighting's useless? Ah. Here we go. Boom. Oh, we got the afternoon at the festival again. Yeah, so on Discord, I heard people saying that too. Um, that, like, I think BTG or someone was saying it in Discord that their friend thought it was like a fighting game, but it's not necessarily... Fighting in this game is more of just sort of a get, get a star thing. Fighting for the factories is worth it, says Euphoric. But otherwise, it's kind of not... It's not a primary thing in this game, right? This is more of just build your engine and get a bunch of money doing it. Um, so I get to choose two of these. Oh. Dude, I just don't care about my popularity. And I can choose two of these. I can get five resources right now. I've got two oil. So I need how many more... Great, I can't see it. Uh, oh, there we go. Click it back. What am I close to getting? If I get one more upgrade, I get a star. Isn't that right? Oh, I need six upgrades. Never mind. What was the four thing? Four max, four structures. I have two structures. Uh, four recruits. I have one. The recruit seems easy. So what, what would I want to get a bunch of? What would I want a bunch of resources of? Um, I guess I need to start building mechs. Oh, popularity is most important? Oh. <laughs> Crap. Popularity's never been important. 
It's not about being popular, Jonesy. You're always about being popular. We're not always the cool kids, okay? We're not as popular as Jonesy. Um, so, yeah, if, if I do this and then do this... Oh, I can just start choosing things? I think I'm gonna take a bunch of steel. If, if he fights me, I don't lose my resources, right? I think my resources come with me, right? I don't just drop them. Because that would suck. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I want the mechs. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna take one, I need two... So I can get my speed upgrade. Mel go three, four, and I'll take a wood as well to build a building. Uh, and then I'll pay two bucks to gain back a little bit of that popularity, right? Of course. Boom. Get rich or get wrecked. You lose the resource if you lose a battle on the territory. So if he attacks me here and I lose, which he might do, it's two to one. So fighting, like, in right here, this battle right here, is probably worth it for him on his turn now, isn't it? I just made it, like, super worth. So he's going to jump over here and bash me down with two dudes. He's got 14 to my 12. He has 10 cards over here, so he could just crush me. Crap. Well, I just gave him a giant thing to steal from me, didn't I? Okay. Okay. Um, did I take my second action yet? That was move, and then I could build? Or, I'm, oh, I'm done. I'm at the end of my turn. Ah, is he going to attack me? He's trading. He didn't attack me. Maybe he couldn't do that last turn. Look at this guy. He's just stocking stuff up over here. So this shows you right here that... What was that? Oh, Riverwalk. So he's looking to start moving now. So he, you actually don't have to move. So this is easy AI. Yeah, this is easy AI. So he didn't take my stuff. But I can't move. So that's bad. <laughs> if I build a mech, can I place it here? Or does it always start? Spin metal, deploy a mech to a territory you control with at least one worker on it. Okay. Okay, cool. So I'm going to do that. I'm, I'm, I mean, I think that's my only choice. I wish I could see where all my dudes were easier. <laughs> I have one, two. I have them way out here in the in the in the wild. Um, so I think I'm gonna do this and get ready for him to attack me and build a mech, right? So let's let's produce, confirm. Um, we have one wood. Let's produce at least one wood. Uh, I guess just hit all my things once, right? Because that's what I might as well do. And then let's make a mech, guys. Mech building time. Confirm. Uh, pay two. Ooh, let's go one, two, in case I lose up there, right? Ah, uh, speed. I'm on speed. You can move lake to lake. Or river walk, move across the rivers, submerge, move to and from lakes, and move. Maybe I want to do this, huh? So I can get out, but I kind of want speed. I'm going to take speed first, and then I can build another mech. Place the mech. Oh, I can't put it on my, on my character? Oh. Great. No. All right. All right. Crap. He can't get me down there, so I guess I'll just protect my farmland. I get two coins for that. Oh, here he comes. He's coming for me now, huh? Oh, what? Oh, he took the tunnel. Oh. So he doesn't want to attack me. He's scared. He got an encounter, getting all these buffs. It only costs him one steel to make a mech now. Everybody's getting their bonuses. Got an encounter. Looks 
I got two gold, a popularity. Makes building buildings cheaper. Okay. He gets his recruit bonus. All right, my turn. Ah. Uh, okay. So these dudes are kind of cutting off my, my routes. Um, I need to start moving. I need to get... So I've got my speed movement. I can jump through here. They're all coming for me, aren't they? Or it feels like they're coming for me. I could jump through there and come back up. Over here. Bring my resources home to my mech, right? You all done? Got something on your face. You got milk on your face. You silly butt. Uh, I did not take river walk. I took speed. Uh, so... If I can move, I'm thinking of jumping in here with him, taking my resources, jumping in here, and going one. And then I'm kind of trying to get to this factory. I'm hoping I can get cool stuff out of the factory. Maybe I'll just go, like, in here. Go, like, one, two, and pop up down here with my character on the movement. So I'll do this. I'm going to move. I'm going to take him. Oh, that's water. I needed to take river walk. You're right. I should have taken river walk. Okay. I need to run. And I need to run far, far away. I didn't realize this was across a river. Bad mode. Bad mode mittens. Alright, I'm just gonna go one, two here. No. Take all the resources, man. And the wood. And the and the steel, or whatever. And we're going here. Whee! I'm just going to run away from these dudes so he doesn't attack me. Um, this dude... I think I'll go... Here? Oh, I didn't take my resources! Ah! I left my resources unattended. No! Well, that was one move. Can I go back? Won't let me go back. I left the resources, guys. I left a piece of steel. Yeah, it is the in-game music. Yeah. Undo top right. Oh, is that what this does? Oh, sweet. Thanks, man. Oh, is that doing... That undoes my entire turn. Okay, cool. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Oh, a little bit of a rewind. No. Yeah, it's, it's, this is still an early access, so they may tune up the music. They're definitely going to probably add a bunch of sound effects that haven't been added yet. Um, okay, so let's try this again. I'm going to take this dude with all my resources, chink, 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 and we're going to go here. Whee! Uh, then I'm going to take this dude. Why did it say he had two steel before? Why is it, what's up with it? Is this a glitch, guys? I think this is a glitch saying I actually have wood. I have no wood. Yeah. And I'm going to move here. Yeah. Oh, I can't carry it? Move. It's saying he has wood when I don't have any wood. Um, and then I'm going to move... Wait, what? I can't move two with him? Oh, only he can move two. I see. I can move my mech, though. I'm forgetting how this works. How much wood do I have? One? Hmm. Maybe I just want to keep that there. He's not a... Th and, and, can I move him again? No. I'm just going to end my move. Yeah. I don't need to move anybody else. I'm going to keep my mech right here. Alright. Ending the... Uh... Oh, I have my two wood? Yes. I'm going to build a building. Confirm. Pay two wood. One wood. Two wood. I think this is going well. Yeah, I'm not going to move the mech. Okay, I'm going to produce a mill right here. This is going to be my mill town right here. Because it doesn't look like anybody is going for it. Or I can't build a structure here, right? Or maybe I just produce a mill out here. I know, right? 
Actually, I'm gonna put it out here. This is probably safer out here. Milled on. How many structures do I have? Three. I can maybe get that next star. Anybody have two stars yet? Yeah, everybody but me, of course. Okay, in turn. Yeah, definitely not moving the mech. I know, look at the thing. Look, are we doing good with the scythe? Are we becoming scythe masters right now? I'm gonna take this hat off because it's hot. We are scythe masters. Bess says we are here to run scythe. Look at these, see these are the bonuses I need to get on guys. This is what, when it comes to me in like 4X games, I just don't, like I'm not good at building engines. <laughs> So now if I produce, we get like a huge bonus. Well, I, I get an extra dude, right? From over here. Uh, and I can make another mech. I think I'm going to do that. So I can get river walk. Okay, let's get a dude. Two dudes. Is that called recruiting? If I make dudes, that's recruiting, right? So, or... Oh, enlist. Oh, excuse you, man. Yeah. That's the enlistment action, right? You're just making a noise to make a noise? <laughs> okay. What else do we need? I can't go for this anymore, right? Because I already got I already got the other one. Wood and food. That's all I can do, I guess. Um, then let's build a mech. Let's build a mech, because we can. Confirm. Uh, who's got some stuff? Let's get rid of this one. Get rid of that one. Yeah, huh? And then I'm actually going to get rid... I'm going to get submerged so I can get my dude back. I want to try to get him to the factory. Because he's just out here, right? There's no point in taking Riverwalk. If, unless I take Riverwalk and go this way. This is considered a lake. If I go Riverwalk, I could come this way. That seems further than going through here. Maybe coming around here with my mech and everybody. Like, go for the factory. Lakes River. Yeah. I'm going to go submerge. Uh, and then the mech is going to come here. But boom boom I have so much food and nothing to do with it. Oh, are they battling? Okay, so they just didn't battle. They just took off, right? Okay, upgraded. He's moving... Whoa, he's attacking me. How did he do that? He moved one mech onto my spot. How's Crimea able to just float around the board like that? Did I miss something on him being able to do that? Is that their ability? Okay. So let's take a look at this board here. Let's learn from what we learned before. So I'm fighting... Who am I fighting? Crimea. So he has nine. I have 12. So we both can use seven. He's only got two little cards. I've got three. Why does it say zero to 12? So if I go seven... Get off me. And we both have seven. You can only do max seven. So if he goes seven, he has two combat cards. If I throw down my four, that puts me at 11. I don't know what combat cards he has though, right? Isn't it just random? Why does it say he has 12? Can anybody tell me why he has 12? I just know he has two cards. That's all I'm allowed to know. So I'm basically guessing. 
just want to guarantee I win my fight, right? So I've got a bunch of resources. I'm going to throw in 11. Uh, why would he have 12? Oh. From the ammo? You could have a five combat card. Okay, fight. So he did. Ah! <laughs> ammo was in the previous patch. Is that an upgrade for mechs? Did I miss the ammo upgrade? What's ammo? Crap. <laughs> ah. Oh, this is considered ammo. You get a certain combat card called ammo. Oh, combat card equals ammo. Yeah, I get a combat card, I guess, because I fought, right? So I guess I got a five combat card. So I only had a two and a four. And these are random, right? So if you were playing in RL... My turn, great. Okay, so he won one fight, right? He got to fight me and he won a fight. Where's that up here? Oh, up here. He... What? He won one victory, so he gets a star? Is that because it's a two-player game? Yeah, this music gets ins insane. Let me know if it gets too loud. Because <laughs> sometimes it's too loud, and sometimes it's, like, crazy. Yeah, what's the bonus to his attack? Doesn't tell me, huh? Okay, well, we just lost all our resources, I see. Unless I wanted to go back for him, right? Um, so I could move. Do I still have more power than him? We both lost our power, right? So I could go back and get my resources, right? So if I move and I come in here, since I have river walk, like I can take it back. 1v1. I can outdo him in power alone. And just win. That's what's happening. Let's go, dude. You want to fight me? You want to fight me, man? All right, now I got all these little dudes. Um, I'm sending him there. I got all my little dudes. What are we wanting to do, guys? What, what am I trying to accomplish here? I need to get stars, and I'm way behind. I need to build one more building, which means I would need wood. Uh, crap. Well, I'm going to go with him. Ow, ow. If I go here... Oh, it's across a river there, huh? Well, I can go here to here, and then here to there, can't I? Ah. <laughs> uh. 116, finish strong. I'm out. All right, take care, Katori. Thanks for uh, hanging out with us, learning some scythe. I'm trying to figure out why I can't go here from here. Why why I can go here, but I can't go here after that. Is there anywhere else I can just get to the land? Because it's a tunnel here. And I don't want to go there because I don't want to fight dudes. I don't want him to be mean to me. He's going to be mean. Like, he's going to go there. This is for science. And I can't do anything. Alright, rewind. Alright, so we're going to move. And he's going to go here. Yes, confirm. So he's going to go there. I'm trying to figure out why I'm not allowed to... Send this dude to this farm, but... Or to this, to these woods. I know, it's not blocked, is it? It's not blocked. Finish strong. I'm going to try, man. I'm, the first game, we're doing a lot of science tests in this episode. After this one, it's going to be more hardcore in the scythe. How many more mechs do I need? Two? Um, I guess let's go there. It's the safest route for me there. And then this dude is just going to go there as well. It's going to send dudes off. 
go get lots of wood. And it's combat time, guys. Combat time! Dun, 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 dun. Let's go. It's time. I guess. I guess so. But I have... Oh, they're workers. They don't get the speed bonus. I'm moving workers. That's it, Dayu. Ah. Pray, no. I just realized it. Okay, so we're fighting Crimea again. He only has two power. He might have zero to seven is what it's saying. Um, so if I go in at five... Or I don't even have to do that. I can save some of my power and go three and play a five card. He's done, right? Oh, he played all his power to try to beat me? Yes! Woo! Won our first fight, guys. Send that thing back. Do I get anything for that besides making him retreat all the way back home? I'm still trying to figure out how he was able to get from here to here. Like, is that a Crimea like ability that you can fly to co all corners of the land or something? Like, how did he how did he travel so far? I didn't understand that. Um, so we got a victory, guys. We got one combat victory. Got my star. So I'm at two stars there. I need one building and I need two mechs and a ton of other stuff. Uh what do you say? What do you say, buddy? Yeah, me too. In that turn. We gotta win, guys. We gotta combat win. Woo! I think it's time for some, uh... As these guys do all their crazy turns, I'm gonna have to do some burpees here. Gonna have to do some burpees for Dr. Hanner on lacking that at 50%. 10%, we're gonna get the blood flowing to end this game quick. What do you say, bear? Let's see what these guys are doing. Yeah, I wish I, wish I knew how Crimea got to all corners of the world so quickly in that last turn there. That seemed a little a little unfair. Some pump-up music, right, Bear? We need some pump-up music here. Okay, my turn. We've got dudes here. We've got dudes here. We've got dudes here. We've got dudes here. We've got my dude up here. I wanted to get my resources and bring them home. Safely, that is. Um, he's got me kind of blocked off here. Blue dude. Can I bring resources back to my base? I think I can't. I think I can bring... Oh, I can't move this turn. Ugh. All right. I think I need power, though. I think it's power time, and I think it's time to upgrade. How many upgrades do we need? Six. Okay. I think we need to power up for a coin. Bolster power. Confirm. Get popular. Get powerful. Uh, upgrade. I'm going to use this oil before... I lose it again. Get three coins. Um, what are we upgrading, guys? What are we upgrading? Uh, coin gain. Popularity gain, probably, right? Popularity gain. And then mech cost. Yeah. Hmm. Not really worried about my mechs. I'm going to go here. Let me see if I can start getting some more enlistment stuff since we have so much uh, bread. I'm going to end that turn. Boom. Dr. Ann says, so I made it back before the burpees. This is great. Yeah, I did a mile round trip to grab a burger for lunch from a mom papa. Oh, nice big old cheeseburger, dude. Yeah. Speaking of that, I'll do some burpees, man. You want some burpees, Big Bear? Big Bear loves some burpees. Would you get your toys there? Ready for burpee time? <laughs> Got to set up for Dr. Hannah's burpees while I'm getting beat down. I'm trying to think how I'm going to, like, first game. I'm digging it. I just I, I just got to figure out the flow of this game before anything else. Like, keeping an eye on what they're doing, I, I'm not paying attention. Um, what's... Oh, really? Really great burger. Better than most fast food places? Dude, I haven't had a burger. Like, a solid burger in so long. I would love a burger. I'm going to take my turn and then bust out some burpees. Actually, I'm going to bust out some burpees right now. It's probably best. Let's go to the burpee cam. Burpee time. You got little Bear Bear, who's going to be one year old. Cheer me on, Bear Bear. Here we go. Four, 
Thor says, good job, daddy. <laughs> good job, daddy, he says. Yes, we pulled it off, guys. Woo. Oh. Ooh, I tasted those beans from earlier too, Dr. Hannah, even though it's been an hour. Yeah, this music's intense too. It didn't really mix well with the uh, the remix. Whoa. Oh. Whew. So if anybody's watching and has, has never played Scythe, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts so far? Let me know in chat. Let me know. I mean, it's it's kind of a rough episode <laughs> because of the uh, because of me learning the bad mode, Chris learning a a big game that I'm not really too familiar with. But I appreciate all your help. Like, and if you're familiar with the game, do you think the app represents it well? Or the app, but the Steam version? Who won the giveaway the other day of King Domino? That was Kitsume. Kitsume actually won the giveaway. Okay. Kitsume won King Domino on the last giveaway. We're over 50% now to the next one. Um, Doc, uh, Dragon Cat won uh, the others prior to that. So appreciate all that support, man. Um, okay, I've got dudes all over the place. Uh, I think, let's see, if I build two more mechs, I get a star. Uh, oh, if I build a structure, do I have the wood? No, I think we're producing this turn, guys. Uh, yeah, because I need wood. I need one wood. Oh, I need to get him back, though, right? This looks easy. It looks good, easier than tabletop sim. Yeah. I mean, it's nice for someone like myself that necessarily doesn't have someone to teach it to me. I mean, it'd be nice if I had someone. I was hoping to get someone familiar, but... Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to produce this turn, and hopefully I don't get attacked again. It doesn't look like I'm going to. Let's produce. Let's produce definitely one wood. Uh, do we want tons of food? We have six food. If we go nine food. Yeah, let's go nine food. Yeah, and the music's kind of coming and going. <laughs> There's no sound effects in the game yet. But just remember, it's early access, early access. Um, but yeah, the sound effects and artwork in this game are what's going to make it. Okay, I guess that's all the production I can do. I mean, it would be nice. Oh, I, I guess not. Oh, I can do four now. That's right, because I upgraded it. Is that why? Got three dudes down here because of my mill. Um, and then let's make a mech. Oh, no, I can't. I'm one short. Oh, maybe I should have upgraded that. Oh, well. In the turn. We're getting there. It's a blast with five people playing. Yeah, I'd love to try. I can't wait. Well, this is PC only or else uh, Lyle and I would have busted out earlier. He's still in that Mac life. Hopefully when he gets back, he'll be doing better uh, Mac-wise. It's interesting how it zooms this out. Yeah, I got the uh, <laughs> I got the popularity bonus from my one enlist thing. Um, oh, let me get my dog. I mean, that's the good thing and bad thing about tabletop sim, right? It's a uh, tabletop sim. You can play a lot of different stuff with different mods, but uh, it's like playing in real life. If you have the game, but not the rule book at times, it's a little difficult. Yeah, that's true. We could do it on tabletop sim. Um, you know, he's going to get a, a PC soon is the idea, you know? Oh, I, hey, hold on. Bear's playing with a heater. Good th disconnect that thing. In the winter, you get, you're not going to be a whoa. Faber also just found a spider. Or the spider, Faber. Hold on. Alright, now's the real battle. 
Aha! The real battle just began. But yeah, hopefully he'll have a PC soon. <laughs> so I can't wait for the full version. Yeah. Yeah, this is looking good. This is looking good. I mean, I understand it's like a big game and it'll have all these sound effects and stuff. It's a giant project. I hope what I would really like, I mean, I can see around the hexes, you can see the red circle, which shows that I own that territory. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and the blue and stuff. I wish that, um, I mean, I see the yellow ones too. Like they only have this territory here. Looks like yellow only owns one territory. Um, I wish they would make this a little bit more apparent, like where I am. Because my little dudes get blended into these houses, see? Like, <laughs> here's my little, uh, here's my little dudes. Um, but they're hard to see on some of these tiles. I hope that, uh, I hope that they make it a little easier. Like maybe just like a, like a opaque, just like when you're placing dudes, like just make it opaque red all the time, showing like where I'm kind of like, like where I own stuff would help. Sound effects are going to be sick. I like the angle. The angle, it changes as you zoom in a little bit. Okay, so we're going to do this move action because I have two wood now and I can produce a building, which will get me a star. Uh, I need to get this dude out of here. I would like to get him to the factory. No one's gone for the factory. If I can get... Can I... I can't stop on a lake? What? I can get here? How do I get here? Hey, that's my guitar. No, 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 no. No, bud. Don't play guitar, okay? You want... No. You want to go play toys? You want to go play toys? Toy playroom. Um, how can I? What? So I understand I have plus one movement. Can I go with with Lake? What? Move from move to from lakes and move from any lake to another. What? I didn't know I could do that. Love. Oh. Yes, I did take submerged no. euphoric. I didn't know. I thought it was just crossover. I didn't understand that I could do this. Oh. Oh, that's sick. Sick. I'm going. No, I want to take all my resources. Give me all. Let's move. And he can't attack me in that lake, can he? You can put units there too and have it count as a territory point? Even my little dudes? No, I can't. Oh, you're saying like a... Um, a worker? Or a... Uh, 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 not a worker, a... Um, no, no, I don't want you. How do I unselect him? Like, I can move a mech there. Yeah, that's pretty tight, dude. That's sick. Okay. And look at that. I can get all the way to there? Oh, I'm going there, man. So now I, I've claimed that, I guess. Okay, now we're going to build. Confirm. Two wood. Uh, do I want a monument? Yeah. What? Why can't I choose monument? Why do I, why can I only choose a uh, armory? Oh, I already have a monument. What? I built a mine. Oh, I already built the monument. Whoops. One, two, three. Okay. So the only thing I don't have is this. Okay. Let's put it there to be safe. Right there. Boom. Get wrecked. So we got a star, guys. We got three stars now as they're doing their turns. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, they just got a six star doing something. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, oh, it's the end game, guys. 
Okay, looks like the Nordic. Got six stars. This is the final scoring. It's tallying it up for us. Let's see who won. Oh, oh, we're coming in. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh no. Anything else? Oh, it was so close. Oh, guys, I came in second. That's not bad. Come on. Woo! First game, second place. What is this red for? So Crimea didn't build any structures. Why is he green? And Oh, because he got up into this range, I guess. Right? Is that what it's saying? We're mediocre in our star getting. He was the most popular. The number of tunnel territories with your structures on them. Wait, where's the structure bonus? At? See, this, this is, this is, oh, details. Cool. Level three. So he had, so Crimea. Red is two. Two times. So yeah, this scoring thing is where I'm still a little confused on uh, what's going on here. So here's the popularity score multiplier. So is that what's applying here? The red two I had was a structure bonus. Oh, that's this. Okay. So we got two, he got none. So he had nothing built on a tunnel territory is what, is what we're saying um, for Crimea. So he didn't get the bonus. We got a little bit of pointage there. But come on, I beat him. I got 65, huh? It's not bad. 65? Yeah? Yeah! Second place. I mean, I, I got 12 uh, for my stars. My star bonus, I got, because uh, I had popularity score. See, I don't know. Like, I my popularity was 8. So I get to come over here. I mean, I got 3 times... So three times four was 12. Is that why? Oh, details. Yeah, okay. Ah, I see. So his popularity bonus, he was only level two. Oh, so this is why, oh, this is why popularity is so important. I see. This is why popularity is so important. So popularity is your final. Someone said that earlier, and I just didn't really 100% understand it. Um, that your popularity table is what is going to be multi, the multiplier, the multiplier towards everything else. So we hit the level one structure bonus, so we got two points. Oh, you said, yeah, Jonesy said that. Jonesy said that. Jonesy only cares about popularity. He's the popular kid in school. He was the he was the quarterback of the football team. So he understands how, how important it is to be popular in school. So he got, he had the most popularity, so he was level three popularity. So he got three times... No, five times on his on his stars. He had four stars. Nordic had the six stars, got four times because he was level two popularity. Ah, so popularity is important in life, guys, is what we've learned here as a, as a group. Is this what we're learning today? <laughs> we've all just learned that uh, popularity is important in life. Or else you lose when you're trying to take over the world, is what we're saying. Okay, so now I'm kind of understanding. Now, now this makes more sense to me that I need to start valuing my popularity a lot more. Popularity, important. This important. Star getting, important. Um, and I see how the table varies based on what you're going for. So stars, important. Get a most, most times value towards it. Uh, what was the green? This, oh, territories. Territory bonus. So he he managed to get into level three for everything, but he just didn't get the bonus here um, or get six stars. What what did he fail at here? What, I don't understand where the Crimea fell apart because it looked like he was doing so well, but it looks like he didn't... Oh, he only had one zone. That's right. He only had like one zone. Um... 
trading? Is there like a super big bonus for trading? Yeah, he just failed here. I did really good because I spread out a lot. I had a bunch of stru I had a bunch of territory, which is seems to be a pretty good thing to try to get. Oh, this is resources. So he didn't have that many resources in hand. I guess is at the end of the game. Um, he didn't really spread out so much, obviously. Obviously, you get one point for every two resources. Okay, so I had eight times three. That's pretty good. So I was making mad resources and spreading out and getting a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, interesting. That you have in hand, that you haven't spent. Okay. Uh, Jonesy says, My experience with this game is that the player who manages to time his spread out and control the most territories at the end is a real shot for the win. Yeah, that's what I think I got lucky with. Even though it was my first game and I was kind of blind and learning a lot, um, I really wanted a factory action, but nobody got a factory action. I mean, I am playing easy AI, and it is AI, so I don't know how great the AI is in this game. Um, let's get that music going again. But... Um, yeah, it seems like spreading out and really going for territories and resources is vital. Fighting, I don't know, we got to try fighting a couple times. I see where you can, like, if someone is, like, like me, like an idiot, and I've, I've now I've abandoned the party, and I had a bunch of resources, it was it made sense for him to attack me there and uh, try to steal my resources. The thing is, he attacked me, one and then didn't steal my resources. He just ran away. Yeah, you're right. Different strats. I mean, my strat for my team, Polonia, I don't know these other strats yet. Um, I think Nordics, or what your objective is, right? Like, Polonia, I could choose two things from everything, and, and the things that... I think Nordic could just move over water. So I don't understand why he did... Well, he did move a lot. He had 18. He moved a lot. So we, we had reasons to move. Crimea, uh, I don't know what his bonuses are. Yeah, you can go early research, early mechs, and isolate them, attack early. And go hard, yeah. I mean, well, this is a great thing about this game, though. I mean, I, I'm seeing why people dig this, is that there's multiple ways and multiple strats to sort of, like, different avenues, different roads you can take. Oh, we're leaving Europa. Yeah, there's many strats you can go for, and every game's going to be different, right? I mean, every single game is going to be a whole different experience. Um, and uh, the replay value is huge in this, so I'm seeing why this is pretty awesome. Looking forward to playing this more. Looking forward to playing this more. The only problem on the physical is the scoring is hard to follow. Yeah. I could see at the end, like, I mean, I'm sure in the rule book, I haven't seen the physical rule book. Like, if I'd played it in 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 RL, in real life, if I'd played this in real life, um, I think what would have been great is I would have understood what was happening in the digital version, obviously, a lot more, and this tutorial and everything would be a lot easier to understand. Having not any experience in this game... And coming into it blind, I'm, you know, and I'm, I'm no alpha gamer, I'm no whatever. I think the tutorial could use a little bit of work for, like, a, a virgin player like myself. Um, I'm sure, like I said, if I'd read the rulebook before, that the tutorial made sense to someone that has played the game, which I'm sure, it, you know, when you're designing this tutorial, it's and I think you fork, you were even saying that the, the tutorial's gotten even better. Um, I'm thinking they're probably tweaking it still, having watching more people like myself play it and see where I get confused as, like, not a big 4X player and, and that kind of thing, that it make my, more sense. Um, tutorial was much worse when it first came out on Steam. Okay. Yeah, I mean, they're adjusting it, guys. It's early. You can see up there in the corner, it's early access build 0.5.6. Um, so I'm not a, I, I tried to look around on the internet to find when the official release date for this game is going to be um, on Steam for the full edition. Right now, you can go over there and get it for 20 bucks uh, early access uh, and that great stuff. But, um, yeah. So I think, you know, that was a lot of fun, guys. I really appreciate everyone today helping out. Um, cheers to your fork. Cheers to Dr. Hannah. Cheers to Jonesy. Um, cheers to everyone who swung by uh, and gave me insider tips, explained some things, made this a lot easier to understand. Um, there's a roadmap on the updates, multiplayer is this month or next, says you fork. Okay, so there you go. There you go, guys. Multiplayer will be added. And yeah, I'm sure. I mean, and we learned this from uh, Handel Abra uh, when we were doing One Deck Dungeon during their early access. He said they... You never give an official release date, especially with digital implementations. Um, you give the release date, uh, it might be something funky. And actually, already, I'm looking at my Steam My Steam thing popped up just here, and it's saying that uh, there's an, actually an update ready for the Scythe, Scythe Digital Edition right now. I don't know what it's adding, but 
Uh, maybe they just added some new stuff, uh, which would be really cool. But guys, definitely check it out. Get in on early access if you can. Uh, it's really sick. I've I've really personally enjoyed this. I can't wait to get in on some sort of um, you know multiplayer online play. Bear says it's time to come play with me, Daddy. I woke up from my nap and I had my lunch. Get over there, he says. <laughs> but once again, I appreciate everyone hanging out with me today. Solo mode mittens for some Scythe Digital Edition. I hope this exposes you and I hope you learned a little bit about the world of Scythe with all the hype. I look forward to playing it more, um, possibly next week. Uh, we'll get in some more games of this where we'll just go straight in and take on the AI uh, and have a blast. I might practice a little bit off air. Um, so I can be a little bit more helpful and understanding to things. Um, but you guys are awesome. Thanks for being the best camp on Twitch. Guys, go check out Gen Con tomorrow. I'm going to be playing a little bit of solo mode, one deck dungeon diddle, forest of shadows. I see the update right now in the steam client. It says that it's ready to update. So if you guys haven't gone over there yet, forest of shadows is now available for one deck dungeon guys. You can go get that new update. Um, find people over there as Madi. Handelabra, putting out an awesome dungeon crawler game. Go check that out as well. We'll be playing that there. They're going to be talking about it. If you're a Gen Con, go check them out and say hello. Barry says, come on. <laughs> Take care, Chris Barron, everyone. Thank you, Jonesy. Guys, thank you so much. That was Scythe Digital Edition, our learn and play episode. He says it's time to go, Daddy. Rock and roll, guys. Have a great weekend. Enjoy that Gen Con coverage. Best camp on Twitch. Rock and roll. See you guys soon. Peace.